the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Business of the night, Father, open my eyes. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice and let's pray. We receive the gift of open eyes, open face. Beholding you as in a mirror, we declare that we are changed. Open our eyes, grant us the grace to see in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, please, I want you to pay attention very carefully. Um, the Lord put it in my heart this week and next week. We're going to have a revision series from tonight into next week um, before we get into the next series that we have. There is a lot to cover and um, we'll try to catch up, especially because of my absence in the last few weeks. So there is a lot. We really are behind schedule, but the Lord has put it in my heart. Um, so we're going to deal with very serious matters and the Lord wants to bring to our minds and our understanding these truths and these keys again sincerely from the depth of my heart i want you to excel i want you to live very fulfilled lives we have a mandate not to a congregation but to a generation and we continue to press trust in god to grant the grace to make this true it is my desire as a man of god and as a leader to see people excel all wise and in accordance to the prophetic word um, this year i really have been pressing to show us the ways of the spirit that have been allocated for the various results that we desire i only pray that by now we would have grown to a level in the spirit where we place value on these truths you see the thing about truth the bible says you can do nothing against the truth but for the truth and then the bible speaking about wisdom says that those who seek me early there is timing to impact there is timing to acquisition of wisdom every time is not convenient there is a time lapse that when you allow to pass without your pressing into certain dimensions of the wisdom of god you will pay for it it will not come easy it will come at a very serious cost praise the lord second peter chapter 1 and verse 12. shibaka subrakata second peter chapter 1 and verse 12. let's read it together one to read wherefore i will not be negligent to put you always in remembrance of these things though ye know them and be established in the present truth the apostle is speaking now he's saying part of my apostolic assignment is that every once and again i as a system of mentorship remind you of the truths that you probably may have known some may be on their way understanding it some would have held it to a measure but he said, I will not be negligent to put you always in remembrance of these things. It was Dr. Mike Murdoch that said, repetition is what creates persuasion. That means the more a thought and a truthful information is repeated, 
eventually your mind will embrace it as true and your life will show the results are we together so um i will title this keys of the kingdom the keys of the kingdom you can put in bracket revision series the keys of the kingdom it's a revision series this is part one next week we'll look at part two the goal is to bring to our understanding it's like a refresher course praise the lord this week and next week by the grace of god i'm going to be dealing with the matters of the kingdom the factors the laws of the spirit the truths that we have so labored through the years to teach and continue to teach that are responsible for power for grace for relevance for a life of meaning impact and so on and so forth are we together the keys of the kingdom a revision series matthew chapter 16 and verse 19 lord we receive understanding matthew 16 and verse 19 read with me is projected everyone inside and outside one two go and i will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven uh-huh and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever thou shalt lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven let's look at amplified the king james version here does not do the kind of justice that we seek um it doesn't give you the kind of expression that that will help you understand let's read it now and then i begin to teach one to read and i will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven uh-huh and whatsoever you bind declare to be improper and unlawful on earth must be what is already bound in heaven and whatsoever you lose declare lawful on earth must be what is already loosed in heaven thank you father for understanding let us grow let us rise in the name of jesus let us become living wonders in the name of jesus christ Jesus is speaking here and he's making a very interesting statement. Please pay attention. Remember, I told us that Jesus raised disciples who would later become apostles through a system of discipleship that we called mentorship. And the way he started, very interesting, from Matthew chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, when he was done with his temptation, he departed in the power of the Spirit. Right from Matthew chapter 5, until he resurrected every day was a bible study session every day was a prayer session every day was a mentorship session they were exact spiritual truth that he was teaching them he was teaching them on the kingdom reorganizing their understanding about various aspects of the kingdom life he brought many prophecies to lamb light and began to shed light on them he brought many perspectives misrepresentations about the god of the hebrews that they had known and began to correct them then he used parables parables to explain what he called the mysteries of the kingdom are we together and so when we get to the 16th chapter of matthew he's now talking about the keys now theologically speaking there is only one key to the kingdom everybody say to the kingdom there is only one key to the kingdom and that key happens to be the door himself jesus said it this way he said i am the way i am the truth i am the life no man cometh to the father except by or through me so we know that there is only one key to the kingdom there are not many ways almost all of the founders of different religions around the world out of the three to five thousand religions we have currently and growing in the world all of the founders propose to be the keys of the kingdom that means they are the access point to enter into a certain dimension of life civilization consciousness or reality are we together we have several religions across the world with different founders purporting different facets of the revelation of god but jesus came and made a bold statement 
that he was and still remains the only authorized access so there is only one key to the kingdom the bible declares that there is no other name under heaven given to men by which we must be saved do you know why i'm teaching you this look up please look up the time has come in the church where we must be biblically sound we must be theologically sound the context of our spiritual communication must be balanced must be intelligent must be theologically sound you must be able to make full proof of your ministry defending the faith by understanding what you believe not just believing blindly are we together the days that we live in would require conviction conviction that comes not only through encounters but through understanding so i'm taking our time to teach you this because many believers are not mentored to understand god the average believer understands different aspects of power glory here and there but the sequential growth this kingdom has an explanation you need to know the way the kingdom was built and how it operates are we together yes so this looks like very basic but it's amazing the level of failure you will command not knowing this there is only one key to the kingdom there is no other name under heaven given to men by which we must be saved are we together the bible says in romans chapter 10 reading from verse 8 to 10 it says that um the word is nigh thee in thy heart and in thy mouth even the word of faith that we preach it says that if thou shalt confess with thy heart the lord jesus thy mouth the lord jesus and believe in your heart that god raised him from the dead it says you shall be saved are we together yes then it says for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and then with the mouth confession is made that leads to salvation so this is the technology that god employed so when you follow that door who is christ the bible calls him the new and the living way he becomes the only access point if you have not passed through that door you are not saved are we together it doesn't matter how you are around church you are not saved nicodemus came to jesus by night and said rabbi john 3 thou art a man we know that thou art a man sent from god for no man can do these things except god be with him then in verse 3 jesus is teaching now and he says verily verily i say unto you except a man be born again he's talking about being born again now he shall not see the kingdom of god are we together and then except a man be born of water verse 5 now and the spirit he shall not enter the kingdom so we know there is one key and only key to the kingdom but there when you get into the kingdom there are the keys of the kingdom not a key the the basis for access that help us to function in this kingdom there are many the laws of the kingdom the methodologies of the kingdom you need access to just one key jesus the son of the living god the new and living way but when you come into the kingdom listen carefully you need to know that there are keys of the kingdom say keys of the kingdom and the sequence is this watch this a believers come you stand here face me please my friend please come stand here face me no you stand here are we together my dear come now watch this they represent different levels this gentleman for instance is the one the bible calls a natural man everybody say natural man that means one who is alienated from the life of god he is not yet a partaker of the life of god through the new birth experience that we call salvation is someone learning you have to understand what i'm teaching you the first ministry that this man needs is not a preacher's ministry 
the first ministry that this man needs is the ministry that the bible calls the goodness of god listen very carefully the bible says it is the goodness of god that leads men to repentance so there is a dimension of the encounter with the goodness of god that this man needs to have and that dimension is sponsored by the holy spirit so the holy spirit is the one who can make this man even have the need see the need for jesus in his life john 16 jesus still in his mentorship session began to introduce the disciples to the ministry of the holy spirit jesus started by saying i have many things to tell you but ye cannot bear them now he says how be it listen carefully that when he the spirit of truth is come he shall guide you into all truth are we together he shall take of what is mine and shall give to you then the bible says that the holy spirit has a threefold ministry to the world the world of natural men he says he will convict you of three things number one of sin say sin number two of righteousness say righteousness number three of judgment are we together so it is the ministry of the holy spirit to bring this man to a point now he will need the cooperation of a preacher because the bible says how shall they hear except they be a preacher are we together are you understanding the methodology of the kingdom except they be a preacher so god depends on men to allow the ministry of the holy spirit to find expression now this gentleman is sitting in koinonia or any meeting and he hears the word of the lord coming and listen it is not any preaching that saves understand this it is not any preaching that saves there is an exact spiritual information that leads to the salvation new birth now all truth in the bible have a measure of light and liberty that they bring listen to me but there is an exact message that turns a sinner to become a righteous person are, are you following now this is a refresher course we are dealing with the things that many believers do not know that continues to make their life and their assignment within their environment ineffective now it is true that i can teach any message and raise an altar call but that even if it is in one minute there has to be a way of routing that altar call such that the content allocated to be captured for salvation is represented there are we together the gospel that saves is called the gospel of salvation everybody shout say the gospel of salvation now there are many gospels in the bible by many gospels we don't mean erroneous gospels the word gospel just means an announcement of glad tidings it doesn't have anything necessarily to do with jesus as it were it's just a proclamation of glad tidings the word gospel means good news are we together a proclamation of an information that gladdens the heart that's what is called gospel so there is the gospel of salvation and the gospel of salvation is a message everybody say a message the gospel of salvation is the revelation listen carefully the gospel of salvation is the revelation of the father's love a revelation of the father's love are we together manifested in and through the substitutionary sacrifice of jesus christ and the object of that sacrifice is man first and then creation the death of jesus does not only affect men it affects creation are we together so the revelation of the father's love revealed in and through the substitutionary sacrifice of the son jesus to man first and then creation and then man's response everybody say response man's response to that gospel who had believed our report to that man the arm of the lord had been revealed are we together yes so when i hear the gospel what is the gospel for god so loved the world that he gave he proved his love for man by allowing jesus his son to come to the earth now watch this the assignment of jesus on earth was not to die 
death was simply a gateway to help him fulfill that assignment are we together jesus came to earth to fulfill a threefold assignment number one jesus came as a representation the image of the invisible god until jesus came they did not know god so they would they would accredit or credit both the things that were done by the devil fallen angels and god to the god of the hebrews until jesus came there was no bodily representation of the god of the heavens so jesus came as the image of the christ made manifest are we together the bible says the word became flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory even as the glory of the father full of grace and truth and the bible calls him the image of the invisible god the invisible god that hitherto we only heard about and a few people had certain encounters of different dimensions of him that god is now personified in the christ so you can look at jesus to know who god is jesus came as the will the thoughts of god the word word of god is the word logos the thoughts the intent of a man seeking out for expression are we following tonight this is basic salvation that is not basic at all it is the strengthener of your christian faith you have to know how you came into this life so jesus came to reveal to men the image of the invisible god as a commitment and a desire to help men know god number two jesus came as an agent of reconciliation the bible calls him the mediator of the new covenant what does that mean the bridge like two aggrieved parties the word mediator is a legal term it's a system of reconciliation that means two aggrieved parties or at least an aggrieved party that has broken relationship and fellowship so jesus came as the bridge but in order to fulfill that ministry as savior and mediator he needed to pass through the legal system of the spirit and there are ordinances that have been in the realm of the spirit that he had to subscribe to ordinance number one the soul that sin it it shall die it's a law that any soul that sins the penalty is death are we together yes ordinance number two without the shedding of blood i'm doing a quick review so that we'll just pass this area without the shedding of blood there is no remission of sins no atonement no remission are we together so jesus needed to satisfy that legal term number three that except a corn of wheat falls to the ground and dies it abides alone so only death leads to resurrection anything that is alive in itself cannot resurrect it will have to die and then resurrect with another life are we together now so jesus being the mediator watch this number one he came as a manifestation of the image of the invisible god number two he came as the mediator of the new covenant to fulfill that ministry of reconciliation drawing men connecting men to god and he needed to route it through abraham and by so doing fulfill the legal claims of justice the third reason why jesus came was to perform his high priestly ministry you have to understand this that he is a priest after the order of melchizedek that even in resurrection he had to take his blood the blood of the eternal sacrifice and he went before the tabernacle in heaven that was adumbrated by that that was on earth and he poured his blood upon that tabernacle so that once and for all salvation became real to men are we together yes so the gospel of salvation is a revelation of the love of the father demonstrated through the substitutionary sacrifice of jesus to the end that when you hear that gospel and believe that it is true 
that Jesus has satisfied the legal claims of justice that now standing before the throne you stand guiltless with the righteousness that is equal to that of the Christ are we together not like that of the Christ when you receive that report the Bible says immediately two things happen to you number one the first thing that happens to you when you declare Jesus as Savior and Lord is that there is a translation spiritually speaking from the domain the kingdom of darkness that means a domain that is under the legal authorization of Satan into the kingdom of his dear son now follow me very carefully are we together and then the Bible says that when there is that translation the second thing that happens and all these things happen concurrently is that by believing it is credited to you for righteousness like faithful Abraham I hope you know the first person to hear the gospel was Abraham our father the gospel was preached to Abraham in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed Abraham believed God and it was credited to him and that formula of Abraham is what was given to the saints to hear the report of the Lord and to believe by faith then it is credited to us as righteousness people like Kenyon define righteousness as the ability to stand in the father's presence without a sense of guilt without a sense of condemnation and without a sense of inferiority this is what he calls righteousness I will want to add that more than that righteousness is the manifestation of the nature of the Christ in a man it's more than just an act the manifestation of the nature of Christ in a man is called righteousness righteousness is first who you are by reason of your believing the report of the Lord now number three we are given the Holy Spirit according to Galatians chapter 3 Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the Lord the Bible says being made a cause for us for it is written in the law of Moses that cost is every man that hangs upon the tree why that the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles what is the blessing of Abraham I've taught it here justification by faith the blessing of Abraham is not a pronouncement no there are blessings of Abraham there is the blessing and there is the blessing of Abraham three of them are not the same the blessing of Abraham is the justification that comes by faith the blessings of Abraham are the speakings that came upon Abraham as an inheritance by God that we can route through the promise the blessing is the Holy Spirit are we together so the Bible says that the blessing of Abraham justification by faith might come upon the Gentiles to give us now access to receive the promise of the Spirit by faith so we receive the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit is the representation of the life of God he is the one we call Zoe now listen very carefully the word eternal life is not something the Holy Spirit brings it is his presence in us the Holy Spirit does not bring eternal life. The Holy Spirit is the life of God. He is what we call Zoe. He is what we call the blessing. Are we together? Now watch this. This man, let me come back to our, our terms now as we used. This man has been convicted of the Holy Spirit. And a preacher makes what we know to be an altar call this gentleman comes out receives the life of god acknowledges christ as his savior and lord and according to the authority of scripture the bible says this man is saved because he believed in his heart unto righteousness and he confessed with his mouth the lordship of christ step one everybody says step one this is not the end of the journey he has now entered into the kingdom he has had one key the key to the kingdom jesus christ now that he's in the kingdom watch this this man can remain unfruitful forever right now in the kingdom he's no longer a natural man 
but he's also not a spiritual man the bible calls them carnal men the word carnal means sensual they have not grown to the level now where their impulses are aligned to the word and the spirit he's not a natural man but he's not yet a spiritual man in experience are we together now many believers can remain at this level forever and be in church for 10 years and in honor to your longevity in church you can be called a deacon from a deacon you move to a pastor and then to whatever now humanly speaking you are making advancement but spiritually speaking you are still here are we together now watch this it is for this man that Ephesians chapter 4 from verse 10 to 12 was given that he gave unto some apostles listen now the fourfold or fivefold as we call it is about to be introduced now he gave unto some apostles and prophets and evangelists and pastors and teachers why to do the work of the ministry i mean for the perfecting or the equipping the maturing it is called of the saints so that this man now matured will do the work of the ministry are we together so the holy spirit is the next person to be introduced to this man because the word of god without the ministry of the holy spirit will turn this man to a religious man he will receive the knowledge that puffs up ever learning but never coming to the knowledge of the truth the bible says for from such depart are you following me tonight so this gentleman gets born again the the sequence of spiritual growth is that for his health look up please for this man's health and his speed in growth it is important to be planted within a community of believers because being planted within the community of believers now will afford him the opportunity to be discipled an interesting word i'm introducing now say discipleship please shout it say discipleship it's a word that has been abused by religious um religious perceptions most of what we call discipleship in the body of christ is conformity to the doctrines and the patterns of a denomination but god's idea of discipleship is not conformity just to the patterns and the doctrines of a denomination or conformity to the central thought agreed upon by a body of religious people that's what most times we call discipleship is the reason why after many years of mentorship the people don't look like christ they look like the error are you getting what i'm saying now yes the bible says looking up to jesus the author and the finisher of our faith he started it he should end it so this gentleman is planted in a ministry like koinonia are we together now he has an assignment his assignment is to remain open and to know that now he must grow that growth is a possibility in the kingdom luke chapter 2 and verse 52 and jesus increased in wisdom in stature in favor with god and with men this guy is saved but he needs to grow if he does not grow then galatians chapter 4 becomes his tragedy are we together it says this i say then an heir for as long as he's a child differeth not from a slave although he be lord of all but that he's under tutors and governors until the time appointed so an heir provided he remains a child bankrupt of the knowledge that provides growth that he does not differ from a slave this gentleman's next port of call is to grow everybody say growth the growth is threefold number one the first dimension of growth for this gentleman is to be brought to a point where the foundational pillars the foundational pillars of the christian faith are taught him i'm showing you how this person will become a powerful man tomorrow the foundational pillars the Bible begins to tell us in, in Hebrews chapter 6 that leaving these basic doctrines, let us move further. 
to more superior things paraphrasing and he said the doctrine of baptism and of this and of that and of that there are basic foundational pillars of the christian faith please look up if this guy receives the best of mentorship he should be introduced number one to the value of the word of god in the life of the believer this is key it's not something he should learn later he should learn that in this kingdom the boundaries of god's commitment to us is scripture he must learn that the primary way of knowing god is scripture all scripture were inspired by the holy ghost profitable for reproof for doctrine for correction that the man of god may be mature fruitful in every good work are we together so this man must be brought to a point where he understands the value of the word of god number two this man must be brought to a point where he understands the foundational value of the priesthood ministry of the believer the priesthood ministry is not something he should learn when he's ordained into ministry by priesthood he should be able to understand the power of prayer as a system that transforms you and as a system that helps you to legislate in this kingdom when this man is not taught prayer early it will affect him are you seeing the sequence of growth number three this man must be taught the value of corporate fellowship and community life as a system for preserving kingdom values i was glad when they said unto me let us go into the house of the lord behold how good and pleasant it is when brethren dwell together in unity are we together it is like the oil that comes upon the head of aaron down to his bird to his skirt his garment he said there the lord had commanded the blessing this man must be introduced to the foundation of corporate fellowship number four this man must be introduced to an understanding of his identity in christ it matters for this man to know who he has now become in christ the bible says in galatians chapter 3 and verse 29 it says and if ye be christ's then are ye abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise there are many things that the bible calls the believer for instance it says behold what manner of love the father had bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of god is a name he must know number two the bible tells us that we have been raised up together with christ are we together he must understand that fact number three he must know now that he has become a partaker of the spirit whereby we cry abba father that this man has access to god according to hebrews he says let us therefore come boldly before the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and help in time of need this man must know he has access to the wisdom of the spirit now he has access to fellowship he should understand this as a foundational pillar of his spiritual growth he must see the necessity of the fivefold ministry in his life as gifts given to the body to help mature him the next thing is this man must understand that he has a purpose and a destiny in christ it's a foundational understanding it's not something he should have when he graduates from school or gets married no the bible talks about believers being predestined according to his eternal counsel he must know that he was born for a reason are we together when this gentleman you are, this guy is stooping down to respect me his back will pain him oh stand, stand straight eh? he respects me and he's leaning like this god bless you for your honor that's how the world will bow before you eh? now watch this but you can you can stand you have you have tried 
let's 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 be fair on the gentleman praise the lord now do you know that when this guy now understands these things they are very strong pillars now he can begin to move to the deeper matters of the kingdom are we together what we call the mysteries of the kingdom he will now begin to understand the methodologies the ways of god he now begins to understand the keys of the kingdom he now begins to understand the mysteries that connect to the results that he desires already remember that the foundation of his life is god remember that he knows who he is in christ because this man is about to go through challenges somewhere in his life and if he's not told who he is in christ and the value and the power of prayer and he does not have a system of mentorship that will tell him he's all right this guy will be discouraged soon when you get born again there's usually a bonus for you whether you pray or not things just work you are jumping is to motivate you are we together and you look at believers laboring and you are like ah, ah you mean this thing is this simple it's an encouragement so that whatever comes your way you will know your life is in his hands yes do you know that this gentleman haven't completed this realm will now move to the next realm where he's mentored on the ways of god now i begin to teach this guy on the principles of the kingdom here is where we begin to show him mysteries in the kingdom that there is a mystery that connects longevity there is a mystery that connects exemption how favor works how giving works how the relationship with the holy spirit is built how the anointing grows the necessity for this this guy continues to learn and learn them again while he grows now this content is graduating this guy from a carnal man to become a spiritual man with proper mentorship he will get to a point where he becomes strong and mature his convictions are strong he's not only believing because a pastor said a prophet said an apostle said he has come into an a, a conviction about god watch this when he gets to this level the next assignment is for him to now be taught the principles that make him a battle axe thou art my battle axe and my weapon of war that you are not only in the spirit to grow alone are we together now that is time for you to mature and now become useful this is where you need to now understand the principles of kingdom advance what it means to become an ambassador what it means to be mightily used by god it is at this point this man begins to learn the laws of influence this man begins to understand the deeper dynamics of the power of the holy spirit you see this is how he started as a naive confused christian not knowing his left from his right and with a few months and a few years of proper discipleship look what he has become a mighty battle axe now look at this why are many believers in church for many years the average church has two to three services per week and after many years the believer is still here fighting for appointment fighting for deaconry fighting for eldership fighting for this and that and that and that and that and sometimes the pressure and politics of ministry will make the person to be ordained here as a pastor are we together now a baby about to lead babies he does not know anything about the things of god members say we don't like you and he says i'm not doing ministry again why because he's a baby he's broke and he fetches from church offering and says i will return it later he's a baby he has not seen the value and the excellence of service this guy is persecuted and he says god why me these are the languages of babes he says strong meter for them who are of full age who by reason of use have learned to exercise their senses unto godliness if i turn to god today and say why me is an embarrassment um 
is, is, is an embarrassment to his investment in my life. Not at this level. The difference between this man and this woman is that at this level, you should have gained mastery. The things of the kingdom, you should not be learning how to walk at this level. When you see someone who is, you don't put babies on wheelchair. But if an adult cannot walk, you put him on wheelchair. Nobody puts a baby on wheelchair and say, I said you should walk and you are not walking. Nobody prays for a baby for a miracle and say, rise up and walk. It is, it is allowed in that realm. But when you become an adult and you cannot walk, it's an attack. Listen, there are, when people say they are matured as believers, ask them, what makes you think you are matured? Say, I'm not a baby Christian at all. I'm not. Why? What makes you believe? Say, I've suffered in this life. No, that's not the reason why you are, you are a matured Christian. Not at all. It is true that the fullness, don't get me wrong, please understand this. It is true that the fullness of affliction can refine. But suffering is not the reason why you are a matured Christian. You may be suffering as a result of ignorant attack that you don't have the knowledge for. This person should be able to help this person in a heartbeat. This person should be equipped with such spiritual knowledge. Listen, if I come and say, Pastor, I'm in trouble. Like an encyclopedia should just open. Which mystery is allocated to solve this man's problem? This is the justification for being spiritual. When you talk to this person and say, um, You know the way life is. You are supposed to be here, not here. This person should have at this point had a covenant with God or be connected to strong covenants that even where his or her personal faith fails, there should still be a way of routing results. Otherwise, who brought you here? Who qualified you here? Are you seeing that a lot of baby Christians continue to say they are much at this realm people can start falling in your meetings you don't need to get here right here in fact before you understand one impartation and you will use falling down and say watch benihin is throwing people me too i'm throwing people we are the same whoever told you please understand what i'm teaching you this is a refresher series that many believers do not understand so the bible says i will give you pastors after my heart men of god hear me you have an assignment to build people sequentially you must know what they are to become not hope that you are doing the right thing like an architect when an architect is building he does not sit down hoping that i hope the building is coming well he has the master plan already He's only hoping that you get to a point where you are able to understand. At this level, there is something you can tell God that will make God act in a certain way to this man that he does not yet have. It is one Lord reach unto all. But my brothers and my sisters, something you have done, a process of growth has brought you to this point. There is a level of relationship and intimacy you have with God. You cannot fear their fears. No. You cannot. If me and this guy pray, he's going to be frustrated. We can pray a general church prayer. But if he comes to the secret place to pray with me, this guy is going to be tired. He's going to pray from his realm. And he will hear me talk to God in a way that does not make sense. It may not even sound scriptural, but it is. There is a level, I will call God names he has not had anywhere. It's a name that my experience gave God. He can come to the secret place and see me sitting quietly on the ground like a herbalist. And say, sir, let's pray. I said, that's what I'm doing. And he said, I, I thought prayer is just when you are talking and rolling. And I say, yes. Just do what you are taught. You are correct. Only you can satisfy me. Only you 
can satisfy my soul satisfy my soul only you can satisfy me only you can satisfy my soul satisfy my soul only you can satisfy me only you can satisfy my soul you satisfy my soul sing it one more time yeah. only you can satisfy me only you can satisfy my soul satisfy my soul now listen don't worry you can stand back this is already a refresher course many of us are born again but i tell you why our lives are unfruitful i can watch you pray for one hour and tell you at least 10 things you have done wrong as serious as you are praying i will tell you the parts that will be answered and the part that will not be answered i will tell you what was unnecessary in the content of your prayer now at this point god will not show you because the goal is not the accuracy of your prayer but the zeal of your prayer so he will allow the error just pass there's no need for accuracy he's cultivating zeal you can pray and make mistakes the goal is that you become prayerful the realm of accuracy is waiting for you in the future so you will find out that you are praying a lot of nonsense but the more you pray the more god is backing it the idea it is easier to edit your prayer life when you have received the spirit of prayer and supplication when you are corrected here you will be discouraged when you get here you will find out that many things you prayed for were already answered in your growth you were never supposed to pray for them growth already answered that prayer request only you can satisfy me only you can satisfy my soul satisfy my soul please sit down sit down there are many people parading themselves as matured christians you say why you say i've been born again for 10 years what does that mean what does that mean it is true that longevity if well utilized that's time and if you invested in it spiritually the bible says that he that sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap life everlasting but he that sows to the flesh will reap corruption you can sow to the flesh for many years it does not mean you reap life are we together this thing i told you is the basic foundation of any believers christian life if you do not know this you will leave god eventually something about the absence now imagine that where, where are you come imagine that this guy just got born again and the next thing he's hearing is a teaching on influence or a teaching on prosperity this guy is going to fail woefully do you know why because it is dangerous to be taught prosperity as a carnal man the flesh will not allow the purity of that message to bless you the message will fall on lust that is already there and it will make this guy a dangerously materialistic person so there is a sequence of growth not every topic is relevant to every believer imagine that this guy gets born again and his first message is love and and life partner and relationship do you know what is going to happen to this guy he's already dead even before the series on relationship is over because i can tell you this guy's prayer life is not going anywhere this guy's life is not going anywhere the awareness that there is a beautiful lady to see and marry would not you think he will pray the way you are praying that you are praying like a madman not when you are aware lady is looking at you no how ah, what if i I, I miss the moment and the flesh is there deceiving you and you are failing programming woeful failure but if this guy is taught that the beginning of his life is God he can be praying like a madman 
any lady that does not like that demonstration does not like a profitable destiny yes sir there are people today who cannot pray in tongues because they were taught something before tongues and what they were taught corrupted their passion that reckless abandonment let me tell you those days when we started ministry here you would see the ladies including hot cc ladies when it's time to pray they will roll under the anointing from one point to the other they will stand up with the whole the whole paraphernalia run pulled to pieces it matters how we are taught it matters who, who defines your spiritual value who cultivates your hunger and your appetite for the things of god the keys of the kingdom now i said that because it was important to lay this foundation but in this refresher series my, my goal is really not to touch on these basics now i want to refresh and show us again and i'm praying in the name of jesus christ remember it's this week and next week i'm praying that what you did not see before may you see it now how do i know i have caught light the results the results show that the light has come if the results cannot show with time then the light never came how do i know how can I trust the content of the information I have? One of the greatest um, concerns and prayer in my life is not to believe a lie. That I should not believe something I hold true and find out after many years that I've been wasting my time believing in a lie. The Bible says to be careful lest what you call light be darkness. There are things people have believed about prosperity that is punishing them today because the content was wrong. There are things people believe about church and ministry and ministry growth today that is making them languish in failure in spite of the fact that they are anointed. There is a, an exact body of knowledge allocated for the truths that you desire. And I'm going to run through them this week and next week. Can you lay hands on your head and command that in the name of Jesus your understanding is fruitful. Lift your voice and pray. Please pray. Speak to my mind, be open. Hallelujah. Now, Matthew chapter 16 and verse 19. Let's go back, please. And let's deal with these issues now sincerely is my prayer in the name of Jesus Christ that we will hold these keys and we will rise in a way and manner the mysteries of the kingdom demystify life they bring you to a point where you see that life is not as complicated as it looks and I will give you the keys of the kingdom say I receive it and whatsoever you bind the word bind there should not confuse you Declare to be improper. A particular version says disallow. And then it talks about allowing. Now watch this. Notice the sequence according to Amplify. That it is what has been bound in heaven. You replicate it in the earth. And what has been allowed in heaven. You replicate it. So the keys are keys that allow you to replicate heaven remember the sequence is that it be done in the earth as it is in heaven it is not going to be done in heaven as it is done in the earth so realities are first finished in the heavenlies and then they are replicated in the earth the keys of the kingdom still amplified psalm 82 let's start from verse 5 still amplified very powerful rendition it says they know not amplified amplified 
keep amplified there please it says the magistrate and the judges know not neither will they understand they walk on in darkness of complacent satisfaction and all the foundations of the earth the fundamental principles upon which rest the administration of justice are shaking six i said you are gods since you judge on my behalf as my representatives indeed all of you are children of the most high verse seven let's shout it together one to go but you shall die as men and fall as one of the princes so the keys of the kingdom are also the keys of knowledge the keys of the kingdom are also the keys of knowledge specific knowledge that gives us enlightenment and authority access to spiritual truth access to information illumination these are the keys that make for dominion so the bible says there are things that have been permitted to walk in the heavenlies and there are things that are not permitted to walk in the heavenlies when you obtain the keys of the kingdom in terms of spiritual knowledge and information they are the keys that activate and deactivate possibilities in the earth realm these are the keys of the kingdom of heaven please understand i'm teaching now they are the keys that activate there are possibilities but they must be activated through knowledge and there are possibilities that can be deactivated for instance premature death is a possibility it can be deactivated like you detonate a bomb are we together long life is a possibility but it's activated delay is a possibility activated speed is a possibility activated mediocrity these are all possibilities in the earth realm and so he says i give you keys that means i give you access to i i will bring a file and run through all the possibilities available to mankind choose the ones to activate and set them ablaze in your life and deactivate all the ones you will find some already activated the average believer when he comes into christ when you are born either by territory or culture or ordinances there are possibilities already activated for you they were activated through covenants they were activated through yokes your assignment is to know the keys of the kingdom like a pilot sitting and say no i off this i off this delaying destiny i off this mediocrity i off this i put on the switch of speed i put on the switch of the anointing why am i a pastor with no members i deactivated he said i give you the keys of the kingdom please listen very carefully please sit down you will find the possibility of poverty activated and tied there many families to remain so but you come through knowledge and you find out that this is not a possibility in the economy of god and you are shown the key to bring it down and suddenly your life changes and they say are you not someone who is associated with this territory you say no more the keys and i will give you the keys of the kingdom listen the bible says speaking to abraham he said from where thou art lift up your eyes and see that means from where you are you can go anywhere but there is a key that takes you there you don't need to go somewhere else from where you are your location your territory notwithstanding you can rise from there please pay attention because what i show you will disarm principalities and powers what i show you will tame life and you will play life like a chess people will only look forward to your downfall as a prophecy that has failed already you are you are standing with stability you are not afraid of your results they came by light let me tell you this 
any dimension you step into not by understanding you will be afraid of the results because the boundaries of the spiritual knowledge that should give you confidence and stability is not there a car comes to you and you are afraid what if it spoils will another one come but there is a body of knowledge that when you know it gives you stability if God says give the car you will give it number one out of faith but number two out of understanding of not just God alone the economy of the system has been open to you the major assignment of a believer is growth the major assignment of a believer is enlightenment being brought through the power of light to a spiritual dimension where ignorance fades away not boastfulness not arrogance but you come to a place of stability i know whom i have believed ah. and i am persuaded see there are things when you tell me today it is going to be stupid for me to be worried about no like the future of the ministry like what makes you believe that in the next five to ten years the ministry will be standing strong you see fear truly comes because of ignorance There are things I've found in my life like gems. And I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray, dear ones, in the name of Jesus Christ, that the spirit that enlightens, brings light, may that grace open you up to light. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. See, let me tell you, when you talk, there will be mockers. There will be foolish men who think you are a talkative until you see the unlimited power these are keys they are not suggestions they are keys they are backed up by God's integrity they are not backed up by a professor a governor a president a monarch this is God we are talking about here please sit down I feel sad and respectfully speaking I submit to you that I feel sorry for any man in our generation today who ignores access to this body of light he has only signed himself and his generation to a life of pain and tragedy I don't care who and I don't care what arrogance is back of that ignorance there are truths when you ignore it's a generation that pays for it it's not an individual listen you are hearing the things that you are hearing blessed are your ears revelation says for they hear these things the truths that you are hearing are a word that is coming to Jacob and is coming for the sake of Israel when God wants to visit Israel he finds Jacob and sends a word to Jacob and it lightens upon Israel thou will show me the path of light for in your light we see light who can claim to see when God has not shown you light what are you seeing Job 29 and verse 3 Job 29 and verse 3 please let's hurry up let's work together media Job 29 and verse 3 Job is speaking now. When his candle did what? Shined upon where? My head. Not upon my feet. The first assignment of the light of God is not your feet. It's to shine upon your head. To take away that darkness. That vagueness. That assumption. It may be an age-old age -old assumption, but it's still an assumption. A popular assumption is still an assumption and then he says and by his light I walk through darkness that a man can find his way out of light 
and you find your way and stand in a position where your life becomes a living wonder not that you walk miracles you are one yourself a living miracle your life is a message whether you are preaching or not this is what God is making you become and listen to me you don't become it just by wish you are exposed to an organized body of spiritual knowledge understand my choice of words not every spiritual information makes men there must be an organized body of spiritual knowledge allocated for the various dimensions of God that you want to see manifest in your life when you learn this let me see the power let me see the cause let me see the yoke let me see the enchantment let me see the divination let me see the scourging tongues of men and the ill wishes of men that sustains the power to keep you down it no longer exists you will know how cheap darkness is when you stand from a point of spiritual illumination it is true that when the light shines in darkness truly the darkness does not comprehend it where we are right now we have to admit is a product of an inaccurate understanding of the body of knowledge allocated for the results we desire please hear me i'm careful to say this thing because sometimes it looks like pride you hear people prophesy i did this i did this and favor came and for me it's not the testimony do you know what you did and can you do it any result that cannot be reproduced is not a real result you can stumble into results but sustainable results that dumbfound the pride of this arrogant age must come by knowledge apostle you don't understand my situation that's why if you were my shoes no sir i respect your pain but i admit to you your pain is proof of the dominion of darkness. Let light come and you will watch what happens. Because every desire that we have, there is an allocation, an allocation of it based on the word of God. And if it is not captured in my life, I must admit that there is something I do not know. The earlier you admit that there's something you did not know, the better for you quickly. Don't wait till you fail for a long time. The moment you start failing, stop, stop, stop immediately and say, I'm not continuing until I'm sure of what I'm doing. That way you will redeem time. Many people fail for many years. They are humbled by life before they have to come back and say, okay, I didn't get it. Let me get it now. You will thank me for the truths that I share with you. You will thank me for the truths that I show you. Hallelujah. Now let's explore some keys of the kingdom. Number one. There's part one and there's part two. The first key is found in Genesis chapter one verse one. Everybody read the first four words. Please shout it as loud as as you can first four words one two read one more time one more time one more time last time now this is the first law when god does not begin a thing it has failed in the beginning of anything is not knowledge in the beginning of anything is not skill in the beginning of anything is not connection in the beginning of anything is God I am Alpha Omega don't call me to join something you started if I do not begin it my commitment is not there I show you a powerful secret in the beginning of your business god in the beginning of your marriage god in the beginning of your exploits in the beginning of ministry this is a secret that has changed my life 
anything God does not start he will not back he has to start it as alpha because when he starts it you will use his methods you will not use your method and call on him to back it later our proud world today thinks God is only useful for spiritual life when they want to do business they take God out when they want to do ministry they take God out love and relationship they take God out everything they take God out but I show you the first four words keep it there please media this is the first spiritual law that I want to show you tonight in the beginning of my life God in the beginning of my ministry not passion not desire not assignment consciousness God at the center of it all it's you that I see it's you that I see I don't see myself I don't see my achievements at the center of it all that I see is you that I see there is power in your name miracles happen in your name as we lift our voice and pray that I see is you that I see. Let's sit down. In the beginning of my marriage or my desire to marry, beauty, you are joking, you will pay for it. The beginning of my desire to marry a macho, handsome guy with a job with NMPC, you will pay for it eventually. In the beginning of my business, intelligence. And a well accredited mentorship you are you are failed already the first secret to excelling in life is for God to not be a participant but the alpha of all that you do don't call God to participate in an idea that you finish with yourself you organized it you chose your life partner you chose how many children you will give birth to and you say God come and bless it no God does not work like that you started your business you chose your location by yourself you even bought the first consignment as soon as it arrived nigeria said lord here it is it's yours it's not his own you started your ministry decided where the church will start you already ordained pastors you called members you called everybody and you said lord behold your 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 assembly no sir the great know the secret to lifting they don't move Moses said, do not send us away from here. We cannot start this journey if your presence will not go with us. We are wasting our time. He didn't say if our weapons don't go with us. He didn't say if our gold, a man that had gold, had weapons. Yet he's saying these things are mundane. God, if you will not go with me, please don't send me. How shall they know that we are people that are separated? And God says, you got it. My presence will go with you. And I will give you rest. The Bible says, for with God, all things. For with God. Not for when you are moving and you say, okay, God, why are you leaving me? Oh, yeah, now come and hurry up and join. And then you say, God, come. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Lord, where are you? If you will not lead i'm not going i'm not going lord if you will not lead me in ministry i'm not going is it not written in your bible that if the lord is your shepherd you shall not want no thy rod and thy staff they comfort me he said i am the vine don't be confused we are together but you are the branches you are not the vine i am the vine you are connected to me but you are the branch he distributes it very clearly our dominion is shared dominion not dominion that is derived by our own strength it's a secret that i've worked with in my life my brothers and my sisters i have no business going where god is not going 
it is not my concern at all the pressures of life will push you to many things and places where god is not there is a way that seemeth right unto a man but the end thereof are the ways of death what looks cheap now will be costly when you start paying for it when we're about to start this ministry haven't done everything by the spirit three days before koinonia would start we had done crusades we had been in ministry for a while but before koinonia would start i still went back for a retreat god please one more time are you the one speaking and are you still leading i tell you the truth if god said no that would be the end of it he must lead the way when he leads the way you will follow now thanks be to god who causes us like a blind man how many of you have seen a blind man walking accurately it's not because he can see he's following a man who can see and the man will lead him many people do not know this dimension of god we start things by emotion and then we ask god to join when things begin to backfire and god says no 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 you're on your own start with god in your life and watch your life turn into a sign and a wonder no matter how bad it looks if god says i am there go 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 i remember years ago the things that we now walk in god said so and i said lord if you lead we are going on and look what god has done and look what he continues to do in the beginning god please return to the place of prioritizing god don't use god let him lead the way many of us only say yes to god if we said yes to it already you just say god just help me confirm no you must be flexible lord is this ministry your will i've been in it for 10 years but talk to me now if it is not you i'm closing it this night many of us our ego will not allow us to be that obedient is god speaking to us in the beginning god let god start your life so whatever happens you can say god please i'm here if god directs you and grants you approval and you get married to a wife and that lady becomes barren two years three years you have a legal right to go to God with your wife stand with God and say Lord you are the one that joined us all we came to you you gave us the right to choose but we returned it to you and we say we don't trust ourselves guide our decision and you guided us now the devil is bringing barrenness you put pressure on his integrity and he will have to arise If you call me and you are around maybe a bank somewhere and you say you don't have money and I say pick the bike and come and meet me you told me already you don't have money but I said you should come by the time you come and you cannot pay the bike who will pay for it I ask you to come I must take responsibility for your obedience you will always be afraid to go to God when he did not start with you what will you go and tell god now of course his mess is there but you cannot stand now and say oh god this wife you gave me mm -mm, mm -mm. you were at the beer parlor under the heavy and then on that day you drank unusually and it's from the standpoint of that drunkenness you made a destiny decision and now you have to pay for it of course god is a merciful god and he can restore but the truth is before the restoration comes you'll be paying for it until the word of the lord came it, the word tried him look at me please don't be too big to allow god start don't feel my ego is there i'm too intelligent let church not not make me a dull person i'm intelligent i went to school not destiny 
not destiny you must learn to step back and say oh god of heaven i declare before you sincerely there is nothing that i know moves god like a broken and a contrite heart let god find a man who is genuinely broken and contrite he will veto whatever is wrong and come a broken heart is a real invitation for his presence are we together let me give us one more ah there are keys so oh. the keys are many you hold them and hang them like a chain a chain of royalty a royal diadem and you move through life you stand by this door you remove one key you open it there are doors you don't just open you break the door so that others can pass too because you can pass and the door will be locked he has broken the gates of brass not opened it broken it and cut the bars of iron in sunder so that others can pass will i pass a door and my child will not pass number two are, are you understanding what i'm teaching you please use this please use this god told me something years ago and said son if you will let men see me there is nothing i will not give you in other words if like john you agree to decrease john said in john chapter 3 and verse 31 he says that i may decrease so that you may increase and i if i be lifted up not you if you are lifted up you will fall but if i be lifted up from the earth i will draw all men when they bow down to jesus they also bow down to the donkey that was carrying him when they put the leaves on the ground for jesus to walk his feet never touched the palm but it was the donkey that carried him who told you when you carry jesus you fail it's an honor to let the world see him it's something i've learned in ministry it's something i've learned in my life sincerely my desire i tell you is not for fame it's not for power it's not for money I desire from the depth of my heart to represent the face of God to a generation to show a generation that it pays to lift the name of the Lord it pays to be passionate over the things of God in a man's lifetime and I remember when God showed me a vision and I saw a generation of men I was standing somewhere no food no water they were crying that whole generation and I came to them I said why they said you are the reason and I was afraid to go because a few people were looking for me and I made up my mind that I will go if I perish I perish as soon as I stepped out I saw a giant man and he held my hands he said let's go for you to be lifted all I want is for you for you to be glorified for you to be lifted all i want is for you for you to be glorified for you to be lifted when god begins your life the passion for fame dies i tell you the passion to prove a point the celebrity obsession dies at once i want to be known so that i prove to other people i'm not a failure is totally unnecessary provided in your journey is enough evidence of the hand of god i tell you why god does not use many people it's not because they don't pray it's not because they don't fast it's not because they are not holy because the corruption in their heart the dimension of obsession for fame and the app some of you as you are looking at me like this if if a drop of anointing comes on your destiny god will not hear you again 
everybody must bow down to you everybody must kneel down and lie down to greet you and you will keep the person there for everybody to see before you say now you can stand up my my dear son all this pride that continues to kill men i tell you why many people do not rise there are some of us we have it hidden some of us are boastful and outspoken about it others are quiet but it's still there waiting for something to bring it out that 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 appetite to outshine is a loss that needs to crumble at his presence in the beginning god and at the end of it god if nobody ever sees me today and all they see is god and his mighty works sincerely i stand before the god of heaven and i tell you i am satisfied i am the things that you see and hear god doing through my life and this ministry i stand and i bless him for it but let me tell you this you ask god he will tell you i have no business trying to search for fame apostle joshua selman the great man of god thank god for all of those things but my brothers and my sisters i'm wise enough to know that without him i can do nothing get to that point in your life where everything about god is your obsession don't use god to get fame listen let me tell you many people leave god to try to get money and you find out how much have you gotten how much you have just gotten trouble all around when god swears over you to lift you let any obstacle clear that way because even if you are a believer it will crush you when god vows upon a man listen if you can make this vow this night and say lord i give up this search for to be known now sometimes it's not demonic it's because of our background we came from backgrounds where and some of us our cultures you derive respect from the money the jeep the car the house the moment that is there they say ah you are a real man thank god for culture but please be born again please be born again don't just be saved be born again subscribe to another culture let me tell you this when you hide behind the cross that is the way the whole world sees you the secret to your being seen is his being seen when they see jesus they have to see you my life is a testimony My brothers and my sisters hear what i teach you and be wise and rise from this mediocrity in life it does not start with just intellect there is a place for all these things but don't forget these first four words that start your bible in the beginning god not in the middle then god comes uh -uh. in the beginning this is how I run my life it is God who everything I have belongs to him you never hear me say you only hear me say my thing just in terms of responsibility but God knows if he started the beginning then anything I find there is his own before I came my house is his own my cars his own the influence his own the fame his own the anointing his own I'm only a steward and I remain a steward forever. And the Bible says, moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. I show you why only few people ever rise in a generation. It's not Rema. It's not miracles. You can walk every miracle you know and be shocked that your influence never grows. You can have every revelation you have and move in dimensions of power never seen and be shocked that people receive your miracles and still despise you let all the other name fade away let that be your prayer 
Let our every other name fade away Till there's only you Let every other name fade away Jesus, take your place sit down. Let's start the second. The second is almost a master key except that it submits to God too. The second is almost a master key. Listen, listen. What I'm about to share with you now will take away worry from your life. This worry about what to eat this worry about what to wear this worry about how you will become famous it will fade completely and live your life this is a revision series you may not have gotten it the last time but please get it now success is not pursued success is not pursued success is not what you look for you will never find it success was designed to come just like fate just like fate comet you don't pursue fate uh -uh. you don't pursue success please hear me success is what is attracted to you by reason of who you are becoming not what you are doing who you are becoming please understand this spiritual law and stop wasting your time looking for mundane things that will never come success is not what you pursue seeking success is a cause spending your life looking for it is a cause are we together now please look up let me teach um come gentlemen let me have six or eight gentlemen sit down pastor Alfon. sit down please come Tin down you come quickly so that we we'll save time just stand this way stand facing me space yourselves thank you thank you and you stand um, my friend you stand here watch this everybody thank you now please watch this call all of these people the needs of men say the needs of men one more time please shout it say the needs of men call sam is looking sharp call this financial prosperity you are all looking sharp eh? my dear people you are all looking sharp now watch this call this financial prosperity that's what you are looking for are we together call this marital peace oh how we need it marital peace are we together call this influence and fame we need it too social media world we need it a lot likes and follows call this speed are we together call this what do you call this favor ah koinonia favor favor and then call this impact now watch this this is me help me starting out my life with zero possibilities zero possibilities now watch this did you know how frustrating it will be for me ladies and gentlemen to start pursuing these things one by one these six only represent the uncountable needs that represent success to men and we think that the way to become successful is to isolate these things one by one and begin to seek them that burden is too much an intelligent god will not design success that way are we together now so when you pursue success it means if you are to spend 120 years on earth you spend 30 years seeking no money is even a lifetime you spend 30 years seeking a wife or a husband another how many years seeking all of these things your lifetime together will not allow you get them this is the cause of the fallen man 
to seek things one by one. Jesus rebuked people again and again for seeking things. He says, the Gentiles run after these things. They run after. They run after. But your heavenly father knows that ye have need of it. Now watch this. This is how God designed the kingdom. I pray for you that you will get this once and for all. Now watch this. At this level, notice my prayer. I'm a prayer warrior. Oh God, open the windows of heaven. Finances, give me finance. Oh God, a good wife, good children. I will never give birth to an armed robber. I won't give birth to a thief. At this level, your prayer is valid. Because there are many things you do not know. Father, grant me favor in the name of Jesus. Lord, grant me fame. Grant me speed. And I'm praying. And sometimes I'm tempted to leave God to quickly get them. Now watch this. All these guys represent levels. Everybody say levels. They represent dimensions. Say dimensions. For every level I get to, designed by God, are the possibilities already allocated to gravitate towards my growth at that level so human beings are inversions are we together now there is a version of me that cannot be a millionaire no it is god's law that will stop that version from being a millionaire it's not an attack if i pray to be a millionaire God will answer me by providing the growth that takes me to the realm where that possibility was allocated. Please understand what I'm teaching you. Now, the challenge with believers is that we stay where we are and we try to use prayer to, what are you called? Impacts. Now, I'm here oh, full of ignorance and pride and yet I want to make Benny Hinn's impact. And I borrowed the impact for two weeks like a rubber ring. What happens? It will leave me again. Anything that does not come to you because of your growth must leave you. It will leave as losses. It will leave as armed robbers. It will leave as thieves. Forget about the actors. There is a law that compels that any level that you any object you get that does not resonate with your growth must leave you it's a law i show you the laws of the kingdom i show you the way we grow now watch this these guys are standing here now gentlemen this is what i want you to do for every step i take forward you to take a step forward are, are we together now watch this i am here and i was invited to come for koinonia a broke confused wearing my smelly cloth all i know is god and i have the the opportunity to sit under a heavy anointing and mentorship and now i am taught certain things watch this as the word of god is shining upon my mind i may not know what i'm doing but i'm taking a step and the things i'm looking for are also taking a step are you seeing that now all at once or this is what will happen step back when i step to your level you step forward are we together now watch this i am here right now and i move forward and these guys come now notice without prayer some results start coming because i grew there now my eye is here and it's good to look far but it's not going to come to your life listen hold on let me teach you something if Papa E.A. Adeboye today empties his account this night. Before 12 noon, millions will come back. I will tell you why. It's not because there are givers. It's not because he's a man of God. When the money disappears, the law of God will send a signal to heaven that this growth level should not have this kind of account reflect. The justice system of God must balance that destiny. This is what physics has tried to describe a long time ago. That there is a system of balance in life. It is not a lie. Please understand this. Now watch this. I sit down here as a confused Christian and if I'm not properly mentored, I quickly come here and lie down on someone's BMW and just say it is mine. 
if you mean it is yours with the law of process and engaging this you are right but you mean you want it now even if they give you now there is a system design that will take it from you see let me tell you it is why many people never hold on to things sustainably they have balloon success they open up today and shrink back again there were certain things that it would be stupid for me to desire 10 years ago 15 years ago no growth brought it so i'm growing Shakaba katosia praying every day as i'm learning a key as i'm sowing seeds as i'm building look at what i'm doing it's moving towards me moving towards me are you seeing that now a time will come where everything that i see come gentlemen i will be immersed in my possibilities i can no longer leave them it will not make a difference again whether i give or don't give financially speaking i've entered a realm of financial equilibrium where what goes and what comes it doesn't make a difference the only thing is just my faith with god but at this level when i give i will know it i will know something left me now watch this let me tell you what god is doing to you every week you are coming you are right here you may not know what is happening listen to me please just be sensitive and pay attention you may not know what it is that is happening to you but this is the law of god man of god don't sit back just admiring everybody while you are praying you are learning the principles you are learning leadership what you are doing is you are walking through life what you are looking for is also looking for you what you are looking for is also looking for you a day will come by the spirit of god hear me please that day except god is not god a day will always come that includes the anointing watch this call these dimensions of the anointing my brothers you cannot stand at this level and want to operate in the anointing and the spirit at this level no matter what impartation all this double portion prayer of course is just a sincere prayer by well-meaning people even the man of god knows it's not double portion that came on that person it just fell down so that it's just hunger that was imparted to go back to the secret place this is where benny Hinn started and he kept growing he kept growing he has to touch everybody here for them to be imparted and he will be tired from hours of personal ministration but as he stepped up he got to a level where his word became his hands it can reach people and touch them it doesn't matter where now watch this at this level the anointing will not move till you play the keyboard clash the cymbal charge everywhere till there is prayer till the people fast till their hearts are open he thinks that's how god operates until he comes higher you get to a realm where someone can be doubting you and still go under the anointing he does not believe you he even hates you yet he's rising from a wheelchair so what took him up for every time you backslide this is what happens every time you are offended and angry i won't go to church again i'm tired this is what you are doing to yourself shifting you father sincerely this thing i'm acting is how destiny works let me tell you this business people hear me if you believe that you will imaginarily stumble into millions just by meeting a business or an investment or become just tumble into it you are joking it will leave you it is only growth that has the power to keep any possibility so the way we succeed is not what we do it is who we become there is a version of me that should not be inside an aircraft if i enter an aircraft the aircraft will throw me out are we together there is a version of me that should not have a car if i want a car i don't look for a car i grow into the realm where a car was allocated So when i'm here watch this in this realm as provided by god there should be cars and there should be houses if god says so your car and you give it the realm itself will look for a replacement it is god's system 
there is a level that you stand you will never have more than 500 members it doesn't matter how many days you fast you cannot have it your mind and your growth does not allow it you can stand and be offended the more you insult a man that has a crowd and say what is crowd this is what you are doing to your own results you are authorizing the realm of the spirit to reject you when those possibilities come near you but when you stand and grow and say Lord what did you show them as the light of God is shining upon your head you are moving from obscurity from mediocrity please understand what I teach you this is how the great rise that's why they are not afraid of their growth they did not jump they grew and Jesus increased listen let me tell you this forget about poverty and forget about all of these things I'm not saying don't pay attention to them do you know you will grow and not know when this realm the possibilities there left you which tailor will sew my cloth oh you go around looking for a tailor you will die looking for a tailor just grow the tailor is waiting for the renewed version of you there is a realm where a tailor has been kept to adorn you did joseph look for the person who put his garment was he not in the prison the garment maker was waiting for the renewed version of him there are many things you are praying for now that have been answered already in your growth let me get a jeep what is jeep my brothers and my sisters don't mock the investment of the spirit upon your life when you know this anybody that receives a miracle is like the hand of a clock rotating you start rejoicing because it's the same thing you are hearing and you know that your turn is coming see let me tell you come when you stand at this realm and people begin to pray and say we know that one day it will go down this money will go down the crowd you see the foolishness of the imagination of weak men you are not here by luck the justice of God is what backs the result at this level the only thing God can do with you is to vet you based on his eternal standard but as far as these things live in you it will never go again the only thing is that your system of accreditation and growth and vetting is not these things no matter how God punishes you please hear me these things will not leave the only way these things will leave is when you go back and you cannot undo what you already know that is the reason why Lucifer the light bearer can still make you prophesy can still make you wealthy Lucifer you can go to Satan because he stood in a position as the exalted light bearer of God and there were possibilities that were tied to his office when he fell the possibilities did not go the knowledge is still with him therefore the results still continue to come it is true it is true there is a version of Jesus that 5,000 men could not come to not the baby in the manger not the 12 year old Jesus not even the 30 unbaptized Jesus there was a version of Jesus that creation was waiting for and the father told that version creation now hear ye this version not the version in the tabernacle hear me everything you are looking for is looking for you but not this version of you so once and again your future keeps coming to you and checking if you are there and returns back and say we have not yet seen him your future is answering God so the Bible says creation is waiting waiting for the manifest creation keeps checking are they there he says they are not yet there but when you grow you will grow to a realm where creation will now see the manifestation of the sons of God please hear me there is a version of this ministry that we cannot go to at this level no there is a level of grace and power and intelligence and knowledge the future of this ministry is already waiting checking for us and saying koinonia has not arrived in that future koinonia is not yet there if we stop here god will have to make do with what is available but that's not what would have been so when we continue to grow 
a day will come this building will start driving us this building like a living thing will start saying go out go out of this environment and the environment waiting for us will start saying come you are ready there is a way you will grow that the house you are staying now will drive you it must drive you the key is not to start looking for another house the key is to wait you will know you are ready when the house starts driving you there are clothes you are wearing today that will run away you will not give it you will not sew it but you will not find it the same way you could not find the former ones you are wearing where were they where are they now the clothes you wore 10 years ago where is it you did not pack it in a bag and sold it where did it go to please understand what i teach you these are the secrets that the lord brought to me and gave me rest i don't chase things you can stay from your room and like a magnet attract anything from the globe provided it is on earth they will walk like the animals this was the strategy that brought the animals to the ark of noah the animals were in the bush if noah went looking for them one by one he would die there i show you this from scripture noah built the ark the moment the ark was ready this law started calling the animals one by one they started marching if animals came to the ark your money is on earth but the hand to collect it is not this hand there is a hand that is trained by the lord when you lift it from all over the earth it will come there was a time in this ministry i'm rounding up we didn't have a domiciliary account not because we didn't see the need to we just felt no problem when the time comes we'll cross do you know how we opened a domiciliary account i'm just giving you an example in this ministry i was somewhere when the manager of gt bank here the manager called me and he said sir i need to talk to you i'm the manager of gt bank i said okay no problem and then i spoke with him and he said someone people have been trying to make transfers international transfers and here and there they change it to naira and send it but that mm -mm, the the is becoming overwhelming and one did not care whether you have an account or not he sent the money and the money has been hanging with no account to credit it and he said please can we open an account that was a sign i said we have gotten there we have gotten to that level if i open a domiciliary account 20 years ago for the ministry or 15 years ago let me tell you what will happen it will keep being dormant you will reopen dormant reopen dormant reopen until the day your growth gets there then you call it breakthrough it was not just breakthrough it was growth ah, rejoice not over me my enemies what you are mocking me with is in my future i just need to grow there my brothers and sisters hear me what is a house that it should intimidate you what about the paint cannot be manufactured again what about the space just be patient and grow when you get to that point you will grow there you can patch through life and keep drawing results like a rubber ring they will shoot back and leave you in shame i choose the way of growth there are levels this ministry has not gotten to i'm not ashamed we will stay honorably and grant god grace to take us there but when we get there there is a level we get to where the satellites will start calling and say come 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 at that level you will find out that five or six business partners will come and say apostle we are paying for the tv station of this ministry for 10 years you know growth by the ease it brings when there is unnecessary suffering and difficulty sometimes it's not just pushing through by faith is that you are forcing life to deliver a result you have not gotten there amazing the things i so desired in my life and the way they come now that you cannot even drive them these are the keys of the kingdom so you can stay from one room and your mind is in an estate not just by wishful thinking you can stay as a man of god and everybody is despising you they are not seeing the grace of god upon your life don't worry you don't have to move around with cats and saying do you know i'm anointed i've been watching you you are acting as if i'm not a man of god don't worry 
let me tell you if you remain in the same position it is not just an attack it is proof that you are not growing you know you are growing by the possibilities that start leaving and others that start coming there are things your yesterday should leave you for your tomorrow to come if your yesterday follows you into your today you are still in yesterday are we together thank you gentlemen god bless you and may you not forget this thing please rise up hold hands together our time is gone hold hands with someone we have to pray tonight hold someone's hands there is no need to rush all provided for in your growth all provided for listen to me listen to me pastor femi's tiny baby girl do you know that small girl has a womb but that womb cannot have a child why growth the womb is there but the womb cannot be with child give him a few years and he will not only be a father but he will be a grandfather sponsored by what growth men of god hear me don't be part of any diabolic association and any fraternity of evil doers because you are trying to grow in ministry just grow just grow and let me see the darkness that will cover your impact just grow as far back as april or may this year my schedules up until june 2020 has been full it is growth imagine that i have to go around every church and every place and say do you know i'm anointed have you not heard of one guy called apostle joshua selman <laughs> let me even talk for my you see if you act like that you will, you will embarrass yourself there are many doing it if you have to advertise yourself it's proof that there are no results most people don't know the power of results results are so powerful and it was noised abroad that jesus was in town please pay attention this week and don't miss church on friday go back after this prayer i apologize our time is gone go and meet the media after the prayer or go on youtube search for all the teachings where i taught on the mysteries of the kingdom and success system use this week to sit down on it if you can fast even for one or two days add it don't listen to it on your way to the office you will not understand anything there settle down with destiny lie down on the ground as a man of god carry what please pray and pray for an enlightened mind pray your way out of that level understand your way out of that realm and get to a realm where no power and no enchantment is able to stand you pray in one minute for the person whose hands you are holding father my brother my sister must step into a realm of extraordinary fruitfulness please make sure you are praying You will get to a point where your life becomes a praise to the nations. A generation cannot ignore you. It's impossible. Impossible. Awesome God. How great thou art. You alone, 
mighty are your miracles stand in awe of your holy name Lord we bow and worship Praise Allah baranda kata brada gadesh Habaranda kaparusa I leave this realm and I never return. I rise like the eagle. I rise like the eagle. I rise like the eagle by the Spirit of God, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Listen. The last prayer point and we're done tonight. Let it be a passionate prayer. Father, turn me into a sign and a wonder. Please pray that prayer. Not that I walk signs and wonders. Let my life be a testament, a sign and a wonder. Let my life be a sign and a wonder. Let my life be a sign and a wonder. A demonstration of what God can do in and through men that can believe Him and understand His ways. Turn my life to a sign and a wonder. Turn my life to a sign and a wonder in the mighty name of Jesus turn my life to a sign and a wonder hallelujah Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So you see, dear people of God, hear me. There is nothing that should intimidate you about any man's results. It is not magic. There is no result on earth today that cannot be replicated. None. Not one. There is no result on this earth today that cannot be replicated. There is no reason to be intimidated. It is only the understanding that we need to have and follow through life to a realm where you become a wonder first to yourself and to everybody, to all and sundry. And then your life becomes a praise to the name of the Lord. You may not look like it now, but hear me, my brothers and my sisters, be patient with God and be patient with destiny let god finish his working in your life you will turn back and all you will see left and right is the praises of his name may that be our testimony in the name of jesus christ father we give hallelujah praise. praise the lord let's lift up our hands and bless the name of the lord very powerful session very powerful session Just turn this song into a prayer. You're more than gold, more than silver, more than riches, more than fame. You are not one of the many important things in my life. You are everything, everything, everything. Everything. Shalabaro to Suga. You are everything.
so Jesus we we declare truly from the depth of our hearts that we love you and that you mean everything you are not the most important thing in our lives you are everything 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 we are not ashamed to let the world know that when we have you it is not a disadvantage and so we thank you thank you for giving us the gift of your presence the gift of understanding the value of your presence so I cast my crown before the highest royalty I am and done before your glorious majesty I cast my crown before the highest royalty I am undone before your glorious majesty you're the King of kings and Lord. Of Lord. You are the King. Oh. Lord. You're the King of kings and Lord. Of Lord. Your glorious majesty. Yabonenaka. Sujata. We bring you worship, oh God, our King. Oh, oh, oh. not a song it's an understanding he is Yahweh he is Yahweh you're my Yahweh you are Yahweh 
You are lifter, Alpha, Omega, my restorer, Alpha, Omega. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. He's seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Adoration to the Father. You are seated on the throne. My worship to you, Father. You are seated on the throne. Seated on the throne. You are seated on the throne. Seated on the throne. You are seated on the throne. Seated on the throne. It's a sign of rest, total control. You are seated on the throne. You are seated on the throne. Seated on the throne. Sela rasu baranda jiadas. You are not wasting your time, my prayer people. You are connecting to spiritual things. Bless him in the spirit. Sabalanda Zanekatu Shalabrahasta Dabarada. Yeah. 
Ebaradu Zarianda Nadabani Barakata de Kata Sila Barada da 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 Father, we have come again tonight with our hearts and our spirits open to receive, to grow. It's a feast of light. Lord, we thank you. We thank you tonight. Let the entrance of your word give understanding. Let it bless and lift us change our lives forever thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus mm. thank you jesus majesty thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you Thank you. Thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good evening, everyone. Let's bless the Lord for the dear woman of God, Judith. God bless you. We honor you. The Lord bless you. Let your heart be open. We are going to pray. I just want to share something very powerful. We'll be brief. I want us to spend some time praying tonight in the name of Jesus. Many things happen in atmospheres like this you not only receive information but there are graces that are distributed praise the lord hmm. second timothy chapter one and verse seven thank you lord jesus christ second timothy chapter one and verse seven Let's trust the Lord to open our eyes tonight. Please read with me. It's projected one to read. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. One more time. 
for god has not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind help us holy spirit there are certain things that i want us to learn number one is that when god wants to bless a man he gives him the spirit of the blessing the bible is talking about the giving of spirits here that fear has a spirit that love has a spirit dimension that power has a spirit dimension that a sound mind has a spirit in any case there is a distribution of spirits but he's only saying among the spirits given god does not give fear listen carefully before we get into the subject of fear so when god wants to cause your mind to be sound the first thing he does is not to give you an information there is a spirit dimension there is a transaction that must happen in the realm of the spirit and then it will manifest as a sound mind listen very carefully if fear comes to you it does not come as a psychological reality the spirit is sent listen carefully when that spirit gets a hold of you it will now take advantage of your faculties of expression and you begin to react to what you may think is psychological called fear hallelujah very powerful so the bible here is saying god had not given the spirit of fear all spirits are given and all spirits are received that god can give something so if fear is at work in a man it means that somehow you received it are we together now whether you are aware or not the bible anything given has to be received to find expression as many as received him you shall receive power so the bible is saying god had not given us the spirit of fear this is a very powerful revelation whatever you have not gotten the spirit of you have not gotten that reality so if the spirit of revelation is not upon you you cannot have revelation no matter how you read the spirit is what empowers you if the spirit of the blessings the wealth of the kingdom does not come upon you no matter what you do physically it will not give it expression that means god starts to lift people by introducing them to the spirit component of everything that he wants to bring them into that every physical dimension here has a matching spiritual dimension and that god will grant you access listen carefully to the spirit dimension of that reality and then sooner or later you will begin to walk in that reality so death is a spirit and before a physical death happens there is a proposition in the realm of the spirit and somehow if for any reason you receive that spirit then what you have received will begin to manifest life is also a spirit that it is possible that you can receive it and no matter what the barrier is the reality of it will come upon you favor is a spirit it's not just a good will that means the spirit can come upon you and that spirit itself will alter your behavior and alter those around you to begin to reflect it listen the characteristics of spirits is that they use bodies and they use minds for expression when a spirit is around you upon you or within you it will begin to alter you to reflect it are you getting what i'm saying now yes that means if a gentleman has a spirit that makes him steal for instance now he may not even know he has received that spirit everything around him is reflecting that there is an influence higher and greater than him compelling him to steal if you hide money under this pulpit he should not know but the spirit like word of knowledge will cause him to bend and take that money out he doesn't have to know he's being led 
because he has received the spirit are we together now so the first information is that a man only begins to rejoice when the spirit of your result has been received that every result and every dimension has a spirit component and that when you have it then it is a reality listen very carefully elijah knew this and when he began to pray there was something he was looking for that rain in itself has a spirit component are we together now and the moment he started seeing that manifestation he knew that something had already been crystallized in the realm of the spirit and he began to run and within a short time there was a, a thick cloud god has not given us the spirit of fear the second thing i want you to learn is how god deals with fear look how dangerous fear is that it takes three dimensions of god's spirit to totally conquer fear look at how god addresses fear that because of how dangerous and serious this operation is it is not enough to give you power it won't conquer fear that there is a tripartite combination of power of love and of a sound mind this is what will totally conquer fear in a man's life so god has not given you the spirit of fear but to shield you from the effect of fear he gives you the spirit of power he gives you the spirit of love he gives you the spirit of sound mind listen that means there is a relationship between weakness and fear if he gives you power is because weakness is associated with fear are you getting what i'm saying now there is a relationship between weakness and fear that every time you are not aware of strength the reaction is that you can allow fear to find expression number two that there is a revelation of the love of god and love towards men that if you do not sustain fear will be inevitable number three there is a relationship between a depraved understanding and fear look at how god solves the issue of fear love power sound mind do you know listen let me tell you this <clears throat> fear looks like a very simple issue but did you know that every other spirit waits for fear to walk if you reject fear you can reject every other spirit the bible says and to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime been subject to bondage meaning that every spirit is at the mercy of fear it is fear that has the courage to open the door that every oppression of darkness that comes to you stands waiting for fear to give them access and that fear begins to manipulate your understanding and that if you lack power you lack love you lack a sound or an enlightened mind you will give fear access and with fear every other manifestation many people fail in life not necessarily because of ignorance because of fear fear the fear to take steps the fear to arise the fear to minister the fear to do so many things that's why when angels appear the first thing they tell people is fear not because they know that the weakness of men wires them to be afraid yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear not that means that is what is supposed to happen that every time you are surrounded by uncertainty the valley of the shadow not the spirit the shadow the similitude of death meaning that whatever looks like death can cause fear no matter how real or aberrated it is the valley of the shadow of death it causes fear but it says i will fear no evil there is a reason for thou art with me i have an understanding of what your presence and your love can do listen very carefully 
courage is not the issue of masculinity it is a product of understanding certain things about god that the spirit of power is given to men so that they can conquer fear if you are suddenly told right now <clears throat> that you have the power to cure cancer even at stage four maybe a drug do you know you will no longer be afraid is that true hmm. the information that you hear does something to you and if you do not have the power to resist it it will cause fear and when fear enters you it will destroy everything about your life so the spirit of fear manipulates your understanding manipulates your faculty of expression how many of you have seen children because of their understanding they do not easily have the fortitude for fear you, you get the point now they are not aware that this can hurt them and so they will come with confidence that means that the moment you are aware of the potential of a thing to destroy you and you are aware that you do not have power over it it will create an unnecessary sense of caution why do we fear poverty because we think we do not have power over it why do we fear death have you seen traditionally that caught themselves and nothing happens a system try to aberrate power and immune them so they can dare the undareable because they are aware that there is some form of power that has given them immunity are we together now when armed robbers go to rob and they rob all kinds of things around them they believe the awareness that there is some power that they have will make them look at you and even stand in front of a gun and then you shoot and nothing happens and they laugh why because something has immune them that means the awareness of lack of power will keep you in fear forever please listen to what i'm teaching you the fear of failure causes failure the fear of limitation causes limitation the fear of weakness causes weakness the fear of death causes death the fear of poverty causes poverty wasteful spending is bad but fearful spending is evil are you seeing that now yes notice the degree to which fear controls our life the moment you are driving suddenly fear comes you can die and all of a sudden you are confused a voice speaks to you and say you can die you have a dream and in that dream you see yourself in a coffin you stand up and all of a sudden in your own room you are no longer comfortable you need somebody else's presence to console you no voice was heard something was done to your mind but the awareness of power he says but the people that do know their god they shall be strong strong power the awareness that the believer can sustain power over and against the works of darkness can annihilate and destroy fear listen listen to me fear has destroyed more people than you can imagine there are many people who may never rise there are many families who may never rise there are many ministers who may never rise because of fear the fear of death being the greatest of them i would die i may die job said the thing that i feared most has come upon me because fear works like faith so the bible says god has not given us the spirit of fear but of power number two of love there is something about the understanding of the love of god you see the bible says i have loved you with an everlasting love 
and i have drawn you with my loving kindness let me talk to you why do people not give what is the reason talk to me if i tell you empty your account now what do you think is going to happen to you you say well it's not what's the issue why why should i empty it i've planned it for something it's called fear fear are we together now oh travel from here to lagos you say ah night boss this abuja kaduna express where i've i've had stories around it fear listen very very carefully fear has destroyed a lot of people you cannot rise because you are afraid and the bible says there is something about the knowledge of the love of god you see sometimes we need to really know who god is there are many believers who cannot even rise spiritually because of an aberrated understanding of who god is so there is something about the love of god he says the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the love of god for god so loved the world behold what manner of love the father had bestowed upon us if god who did not spare his son but offered him freely how much more listen it says if ye being evil know how to give good gifts so a revelation of the love of god can settle your confidence that i know that i know that i know that god will back me that i know that i know that i know that god loves me and his interest has been invested upon my life and then the spirit of a sound mind when the lord opened my eyes to this i said wow a sound mind is not just psychological a sound mind is a spirit no wonder the madman in gadara he was not just mad because he was confused his talking anyhow was a reflection of his spirit that was at work and the bible says when jesus casted that spirit they came later and found him sitting with jesus in his right mind in his right mind a sound mind the word sound here means balance it means enlightened an enlightened mind is a spiritual mind that you have too much information to just shift you left and right you are an adult if i tell you this chair will break you will not be afraid because there is a sound mind you have an understanding enough to know it was built to take your weight a sound mind that means when we do not have an enlightened perception and an understanding it can create fear all kinds of fear Think how many things fear has done in your life it is a dangerous spirit it causes bondage all kinds and all sorts of bondage there are people today who will never buy a car because of fear there are people today who will never travel because of fear there are some of you who will never go to the village because you had a report somewhere and you say me and village god forbid fear god has not given us the spirit of fear but he has given us the spirit of power do you know what the spirit of power is the spirit of power is not just the anointing no no there are two different things the spirit of power is not the anointing when moses was telling joshua <laughs> he said joshua be strong and of good courage that is the spirit of power is the daring the spirit of power is not just an anointing to heal the sick no 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 is a grace is a spirit that plants faith that grants you access to confront things confront challenges be strong he said and of good courage did the bible not say be strong in the lord and in the power of his might every time the bible is talking about the arsenals of darkness it says be strong you need the power the strength the capacity to dare the unbearable if you will ever rise to be great hmm. the spirit 
of power mm. that grace was upon esther and she says i'm going to go and see the king if i perish i perish that's the spirit of power let me tell you this there are times in your life when you will not see any boat you are going to have to trust god and jump on that water and begin to walk by the spirit the revelation that the power of the holy spirit is able not only to keep but to protect to lift his divine power the spirit of power lord you have spoken i believe you i don't know how it will happen but in the name of jesus what do you want me to do lord if you say i should empty my account i'm going i if i perish let me perish be strong and of good courage because life will intimidate you and it will cause fear fear in ministry fear in life fear of anything but you need the spirit of power life does not give you guarantee for any result when you see people who have results let me tell you especially in the kingdom much more than just their belief and their conviction about god this was the grace that was at work in them the spirit of power the spirit of power not just the anointing to heal the sick the courage the fortitude the capacity to stand and say bring any weight this is what was upon david when he stood before goliath it was not just the anointing to heal the sick no he stood before goliath and said who is this uncircumcised philistine because notice how goliath oppressed them he used fear he came and continued to use his size to oppress them and then a young boy comes with the spirit of power and looks at him and says who is this uncircumcised philistine then he now says am i a dog look at goliath talking now am i a dog that you come to me with sling and spheres and then he says well you may come to me with your bow and all of this but i come to you in the name of the lord god of israel the one you have defied then david now says mr man let me even tell you how i'm going to kill you not only that you are going to die this is what will happen i will first throw you on the ground then i will use your own sword and remove your head and give it to the birds the spirit of power there are many of you who have experienced this in the place of prayer and you did not know it was it that you begin to pray over something you are confused you don't know where the rent is going to come from the fear is eating you up suddenly while you are praying this grace begins to come on you and you stand up and begin to speak and act boldly the lord is my light and my salvation hmm. and you begin to make bold proclamations and stand at the gate of the enemy and decree and declare that regardless of what it is the word of god will come to pass let me tell you this since fear is a spirit that means fear can know people and it can know those who it should not try again any spirit can talk can know look at the bible the spirits in the madman in gadara spoke to jesus have you come to destroy us before our time they are knowledgeable they are not ignorant they are not robots that means when fear comes to you it observes your response when it sees the deficiency of power of a revelation of the love of god and of an enlightened mind it is permitted to come in and destroy you are we together i've shared with you how that many times i can be at the airport or i'm on my way taking a trip and some person sometimes i don't know them sometimes i know them they can send me text and say apostle please i just saw an accident a ghastly motor accident and i saw you dying please don't think i'm speaking bad against you i just saw you dying please cancel that journey now the person may be sincere but the spirit of fear takes that opportunity and wants to manipulate you are we together now when you hear that a loved one dies it does something to you fear will capitalize on it who is next because that loved one who died was a christian that loved one who died was this and that and that 
fear is a dangerous spirit the day you go to the hospital and they tell you sorry you you thought you were aa we just discovered that you are sso from that day fear comes to the hospital too as they're announcing the result it takes the result and works on your mind while you are sleeping says begin to count let's assume you have 40 more days to live and then it begins to help you count down you will think nothing will happen until you see what begins to happen to you all your goals and dreams will just pack up fear has taken advantage of a an incorrect communication of rapture to destroy believers and make them irresponsible it looks like it's a spiritual statement but that awareness every time you want to take a giant step it comes and says what is there jesus is on his way coming and it's supposed to look like a good thing but because you have been threatened about the coming of jesus that it represents judgment and what even you, you what will happen to you and you are not productive until you find out you are 70 years old and nothing happened the spirit of fear has destroyed a lot of people the spirit of fear has stopped people from receiving the spirit of fear has stopped people from rising the spirit of fear has stopped people from daring a lot of things but tonight that in the name of jesus we will conquer fear let me tell you something one of the effects of fear is that it makes you to forget the goodness and the benefits of god when fear comes upon you it can erode the awareness of everything god has done in your life he said bless the lord oh my soul listen very carefully bless the lord oh my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name then he begins to list i hope you know that all the things he's listing are the things that cause fear who forgiveth your sins who healeth your diseases who delivers you from this and that he said bless the lord that means that even gratitude you will not be able to say lord thank you because you are aware fear you know you've heard my story i used to be oppressed by demon spirits real demon spirits and now the dangerous thing about the ability to see is that demons can also take advantage of it it's not everything you need to see are we together now and i will lie down on the bed and with my own eyes here these spirits just enter my room they don't open the door they don't do anything i shout jesus i shout everything i know to shout just like you have been shouting and i tell you it doesn't do anything to them you see you are laughing because that's what you are secretly afraid of because jesus is supposed to be like the highest factor that drives spirits when you shout jesus and they don't at least react i shouted jesus 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 and these spirits they would come press my neck and i'm just watching i can struggle for hours do you know it got so bad that every time it was evening it would affect me i used to sleep at the edge of the bed if you like put the bed from this wall to that wall i would sleep at the edge do you know why so that when they begin to oppress me i would do my best and fight my way at least when i'm falling down what whatever happens I can fall down and wake up yes it's true wicked spirits i remember the day the revelation of the power and the grace of god came upon me i ran home i didn't pray i ran home and i stood outside and i begged them to come i officially invited them When you lose the ability to be afraid of evil that statement i will fear no evil there is no limit to what your life can be when god grants you the grace to reject fear 
the reason why many do not give is because of fear fear that there is insufficiency and they may never rise the reason why many people keep running abroad and can smuggle their way through chad through libya move through the forest and the desert and almost die because they are getting to europe is because they believe that one day nigeria will pack up and everybody will kill everybody and the oil will finish or we are going to drink it or something will happen fear the moment they announced recession in nigeria people who were not working started suffering people who, who didn't have jobs who were not supposed to be afraid they were already like that since but they received something fear just sat upon nigeria recession and people started going down and started giving reasons to say look you two you know how times are recession when men say that there is a casting down you that means you are not a man you are a man who but something has lifted you beyond the realm of men when men shall say there is a casting down that you will say there is a lifting up is it not in your bible that a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side listen to me very carefully it says but none shall hurt you only with your eyes shall you behold the reward of the wicked If you allow fear to get to you it will destroy you ladies listen to me they have told you the moment you get to 28 29 30 certain things start happening to your system you can believe it or they can tell you when you are 50 years old or 50 something you cannot be able to give birth again and your life will be destroyed the moment people celebrate 50 years they start deteriorating because they call it midlife crisis they expect something to go wrong when they are 60 years and nothing has happened in their life it sounds strange fear fear the spirit of fear there are many of you today who cannot rise to do certain things because fear has told you we are ordinary people we are weak people let me not embarrass myself let me not disgrace myself but god has not given us the spirit of fear but the spirit of power the spirit of love listen let me tell you this i pray for you that the love of god will truly be a revelation in your heart hmm. he said i have loved you with an everlasting love and i have drawn you with my loving kindness i have loved you unashamedly with an everlasting love and i have drawn you with my loving kindness what shall separate us from the love of god you, you have to know why paul is teaching these things what shall separate us then he begins to list all the things that you think can separate you from the love of god famine wars etc i say nay in all these things we are more than conquerors by the revelation of the love of god so when the devil tries to project fear the revelation of who god is listen and the fact that he loves me that the jealousy of god is an investment upon my life when you know this like you want to hurt a little child and he will run to his father you see some of these are little ones they run all around and with confidence they jump on you and they expect you to hold the bible said trust in the lord trust in the lord listen with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding the word trust is the word bata is the word that gives an expression of someone jumping hoping that the father will hold you to take away all the limitations and just throw yourself at god and say lord i know that you are able to hold me and while people are saying oh dear a hand that comes to protect you and that hand is called the love of god the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the love of god the love of god will not allow darkness eat you up 
the love of god will not allow you to be a shame and reproach to you and your family be aware of this you are god's investment his love is upon you it will give you an understanding you are not alone please listen to what i'm telling you because you will stand and you will confront battles where there is no human assistance but the awareness of the love of god i know that god loves me it's a revelation that i have i have gotten in a way that i'm grateful for the love of god the love of god the love of god the love of god furnish within you if there is one person god will favor on this earth is me i know it's because of his love i don't know how far between you and him but i know he has drawn me into the inner chamber of his love like the king tells esther come what do you want even up to half of my kingdom this is my mentality when i pray this is my mentality when i talk there is no fear that's why sometimes I can tell you, ah, there's someone outside there. Do you think it's just because I'm seeing a vision? This is a risk. You don't stand before the whole world and speak stupidly like that. What if nothing happens? And nothing happens again. And nothing happens again. And nothing happens again. The love of God. The love of God. For we know that all things work together not for everybody not for every christian to them that love the lord and to those who are the called the called the called according to his purpose the revelation of the love of god is something that has consumed me you know sometimes when i sit down i say what's 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 that lady's song take it down for me let's let's shout that song Jesus, you love me too much, oh, too much, oh, too, too much, much, oh, yes. Listen, to you is a song, but God wants it to be a revelation. What will you do if you suddenly knew that the jealousy of Jesus is standing by you to protect you? You think the love of God is a little issue? until you see what has happened in your life as a result of lack of knowing it when Mukhtar came here with his wife when he held that lady he was happy standing protecting her and speaking and you could see the confidence in his love and does by a ring now whether you like her or not is no longer an issue the ring has demonstrated that this love is a lifetime commitment was it not the awareness of the love of the father of the prodigal son that gave him the courage to get up and return back home he was with pigs and for a while every time he thought of going back fear would keep him you see what fear does and then one time he said mm -mm, how many hired servants has my father and i'm here feeding with swine he said i know something about my father there is something i know about him no matter what we know how to settle ourselves i will arise and i will go to my father do you know while he was talking the father was already on his way coming the bible didn't say he went and met the father at home ah the father was saying no he's my son no matter what love love no matter i will still meet him and come and carry him and while he was coming afar off immediately he saw the father he gave him a hug and put a signet ring the love of god the love of god so when you see things in your life listen to me and you know that ah, the way things are now kai oh god this nigeria god you have already said this is a year of extraordinary what is happening then you rest in the fact that god what is mine that you are mindful of for you to know this you have to see a gentleman in love what is that girl that you are mindful of that they are talking to you you are not even hearing again how are you and you're ah, sorry ah, 
that's exactly what happens to god listen you are laughing but i need you to understand that means i am in his mind he's thinking right now what do i do for joshua selman how do i lift him oh i see all the attacks around his life but my love my love my love my love for him my love for him is the confidence i use when i minister to people i know his jealousy is an investment upon my life that he will protect with his blood do you know this about god so when somebody looks at you and says i will kill you the person doesn't know what he's saying you need to know who you will kill first nobody comes with any nonsense prophecy and scares me no no the love of god has created a vaccination against that rubbish oh apostle i just saw you dying oh apostle no 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 because many of us are we are victims of all kinds of speakings from people and they may not listen they may not necessarily be lying do you know your family has witchcraft do you know your family has this god can deliver you but the fact that you cannot even think that god can lift you every time i see people who can bless me i start rejoicing i know what god is going to do god i know what god will do i live a very happy life knowing that i can rest in his love the spirit of love the spirit of love the spirit of love hmm. elijah knew this when there was famine he didn't say god what about me how am i going to eat no god if you kill me who now prophesies over israel and god says for you i exempt you go to brook cherith i don't know whether you understand sowing or reaping but i'm going to make a bed because men will not agree to come and meet you so i will use an animal this is the revelation over my life i believe in the love of god over this ministry you see when you know god it doesn't look fair when god's love zooms towards you is a fearful thing it takes away fear from your life the fear of the future what will the future be like what will the future be like will i have children will they be well behaved your brain cannot carry that kind of load he says my yoke is easy fear can make you a laborer it can give you assignments that didn't come from god a lady of 18 years is already touching her womb all around hoping she'll be pregnant you can imagine that kind of thing by yourself you are sitting in front of the internet many things to browse the presence of god you just start browsing signs of cancer enter what do you think made you do that now please listen to what i'm telling you and if you will find something there that you may have once your leg starts paining you say sign that this and that you say ah that pain jesus you love me too much too much it's a revelation my father loves me too much oh. look at jesus he says this is my beloved son in whom i am well listen listen you see the way we live our lives many times is a mockery on the love of god it shows that there is something about the love of god we do not know your atm gets missing and for that whole day you are moody it's not the atm is that your trust was in it and now that your atm has disappeared fear now comes what if somebody gets it and withdraws money how much is even there have you seen now 
fear fear you wake up in the night and for you forgot to close your door now it's good to close your door but it's fear that the speed you have who has entered listen it's a terrible way to live and to deliver those who through fear have all their lifetime subject to bondage the moment people are about to retire they start you see people who were once confident they will now tell you ah how do i this life you know how this thing is now and what you fear comes upon you eventually in my life i don't think failure i truly am a winner you can wear life till you win it comes by a revelation of who god is you can you can wear situations and circumstances please listen to me i can never fail truly speaking truly speaking it's his love that keeps me conscious i know what he has put upon me and i know what it can do so when i tell you that if i pray for you you will be blessed it's not arrogance it is an awareness you're amazing listen when you have this knowledge please just walk with me we're going to pray don't trivialize what you hear me share tonight please don't trivialize it you will be surprised at the level of failure that comes to your life if you don't listen to what i'm telling you the awareness god's interest is in my life god's interest is in my life his reputation upon me is at stake and he will move all and sundry to see his purpose is birthed that way you enter your rest it's a sabbath that comes knowing you see it says my father walk hitherto i walk that means that there it is when it is when the father is walking and you are walking something is wrong as he's walking i am resting in the fact that my interest is protected the love of god the love of god when i think about the love of god fear there is no fear not fear of the future where this is a, this is this is a powerful word there is nothing that god has told me that i don't believe him because i know his love i know what god can do i have seen in earthly terms what a guy can do when he loves a lady pastor alpha i've seen what you can do because you love your wife pastor femi i've seen what you can do to mercy because you love her these these are human beings have you ever seen someone flog your child in school he was wrong oh. yet you dragged that child and went to school and said where's the teacher must you flog you have to look for a way of defending your child it's called love you conquer fear when you are aware of the love of god if i hear that favor is coming this way I don't say lord i hope it will reach me yeah yeah my prayer is for you that lord when you finish with me let it at least touch them because if that favor comes i know i know this no it is it's a revelation my brothers and my sisters the love of god god loves me god loves me god loves me joshua selman the little children used to sing yes jesus loves me we became adults and forgot the song and fear took over our lives jesus loves me jesus loves my future jesus loves my destiny jesus loves my results jesus loves my longevity it is in his interest that i do well he said i will give you a new heart a new spirit all of those things he said for my name's sake my namesake there is a word for it is called reputation i heard today that one of our ladies who is or was in the school of ministry that the lady i think she just collapsed or something and 
like a mental problem maybe like a bipolar problem and all of that the moment they spoke to me i don't know her but the fact the the fact that she's part of a family that i lead my love and my jealousy kicked in immediately when i got home i sent a text to one of our ladies i said so how much are the bills and who is there it's called love when some are trusting in horses and chariots you just stand there stranded and here comes that bridegroom the faithful bridegroom who is keeping my bride waiting have you not read that jealousy is the rage of a man you want to see an angry man touch his wife he may respect you and be nice but you just touch his wife when you are aware that you are the bride of christ and fear comes was it not what Haman was trying to do to Esther? He was trying to put fear. I'm going to annihilate the Jews. He was even digging the gallows already. But Esther knew something about the king. And when she provoked his love, even apology brought him to trouble. You still want to rape my wife upon the fact that you have annoyed her. Have you not been told that you are the apple of his eyes? You come and try to touch my eyes. Listen to what I'm telling you. I want you to end this fear thing once and for all in your life. Fear of failure. Where will help come from? Who will arise for me? It's an insult. Listen, in this ministry right now, if you get up by God's grace, you get up and say, you come and meet me and say, Apostle, I hope you have generator for the end of the service. I, I hope that uh, by tomorrow, I, I hope this meeting, there's miracle service on Friday. I, just, I hope you will not be embarrassed. You see, I will look at you and I will feel very sad because it's an insult. So when you turn to God and say, God, so now who will help me? And God says, don't worry. I said, mm, tell me who, because I, I don't trust you. There's something about you. And God says, you trusted your landlord. You trusted your lecturer with five years of your life. A guy came to you from somewhere like the bush and just two weeks of knowing him, you trusted him with your heart. And God says, trust me with your destiny. And fear says, mm -mm. God has a track record of failing men. Be careful. Tread with God with caution. You see that? So you say, God, I'm, I'm going to be with you, but let me hold on first. In case you fail, let my uncle be a backup plan. And God says, me, search my credibility. Search my credibility. It's why people don't get delivered. It's why people don't prosper. Many bad things happen to people because they do not understand the love of God. Today is Kenny's birthday. And yesterday when he told me about the birthday i was tired after the session in the morning stroke afternoon immediately i saw him i said ah get into the car let's go home at least let me go and pray for you and all of that love love what is the revelation of the blood of jesus to you you see come pastor alpha look up we're going to pray hold this phone if i give you 10 naira to get this phone it means i love the phone more than the money is that true the respect is not for the money the respect is what i bought in exchange for the money so when you look at what the father bought with jesus that he used jesus as an atm card to pay for something so what is the name of that something he paid for that jesus was crying and say father i said jesus just finish this thing i i know we will, we will even if you are angry with me i will sort you out later but because of this man that i love and then some person will come with one prophecy and tell you a lot of nonsense and in five minutes you look at the love of god and say ah lord i always knew now every good and perfect gift comes from above from above from the father of lights in whom there is no variableness do you know what is variableness that means there is predictability to his integrity 
it is on this that we rest that God in heaven can look at me and I know that he loves me apostle where will the partners of this ministry come from I am only a bride what's the responsibility of my faithful husband he said husbands love your wives if a husband does not love his wife he's a sinner he's not just a bad person he's a sinner if you being evil know how to give good gifts i'm showing you how 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 we conquer fear know how to give good gifts how much more your heavenly father so when i go to god to pray i pray with confidence this is the confidence we have that whatever we ask in his name he heareth us why because he loves us the love of god is a powerful revelation and then lastly i will pray a sound mind let this mind be in you which was also in jesus christ that means there is a thinking there is a belief system that needs to be altered and adjusted if you do not sustain a superior understanding about god and about life you will be a failure forever there is a mentality that empowers fear in our lives many people fail before they start whatever they are trying to do they have failed since they knew it will not work their failure only confirmed what was there hallelujah every time god gives us something to do in this ministry i know we will win i know we will succeed every time god grants me the privilege to travel somewhere to minister i know they will be blessed all this complex that we carry around it may have come from our backgrounds but it was enforced and empowered by the spirit of fear spirit of fear so when god is telling you to rise you say, i cannot do I'm, I'm not i'm not good enough but tonight we have to conquer fear if you don't conquer fear you will never prosper if you don't conquer fear you will not be able to go through the valley of the shadow of death without fearing evil if you do not conquer fear you will never be able to rise to do the things that god wants you to do i believe in jesus he has given me the grace and the power the power of the holy spirit and i am I, the revelation of his love is an indoctrination have been indoctrinated there is no revelation from the pit of hell that will alter the mindset that god loves me ask him you saw the shirt i wore in the morning when i say i belong to god it doesn't mean i'm born again it means i'm his property his jealousy is upon me it's a beware sign to principalities and powers beware this man has an owner you are not a car parked outside beware like you say beware there are dogs in this house meaning the owner of this house is responsible enough to protect it hallelujah so if god tells you i will give you a million naira tomorrow you don't just sit and say oh god i i know that you are able to no the love of god the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the koinonia the fellowship of the spirit let this remain with you the lord gave me this word to share as one of the things that must be conquered otherwise let me tell you my brothers and my sisters will keep talking and jumping up and down here and the moment we share the grace i hope you know that when god speaks to you i've taught you he doesn't speak to you like he's speaking to a man he speaks to you like he's speaking to himself so god says femi get ready um to finish the house by october and make sure there is a good car and while he's talking you are just standing there hoping that somebody will bless you with lunch money and god comes to speak to you
is it not faith that even works by love do you know what that means most times we think it's just that faith works when you love people no faith works by the revelation of the love of the one who will make things to come to pass faith works by love faith works by love i know that if i open my mouth and i speak and i utter a word the spirit of the lord will honor that word why because of the love of god because of the love of god it's an indoctrination no matter where i go i cannot be ignored you ignore me you will pay for it it's not pride it's true you will pay for it because sooner or later you'll find out that everything you are looking for the one who loves me is the one who gives it he will refer you back to mindset so that when you hear a testimony like i was just sitting down the lord said i should come and bless you you don't say me oh lord with all gratitude you have done it again oh thank you jesus i received this blessing i received this blessing the nation of israel knew that they were a people loved by god and they were bold when their enemies saw what god did they were afraid if they heard that the israelites were coming they would be afraid they said these people they are god they are god they are god when they started forgetting the love of god and started defying and doing all other things they became the ones afraid the lord is my light and my salvation what can man do to me the lord is my light he's my salvation of whom will i fear i found a cure for fear sincerely believe me when i tell you i don't fear no. i have seen god do things in this ministry do things in my life and do things in the life of people the revelation of his love i like to call it his jealousy when i just call it his love it doesn't carry that weight the word jealousy is very positive when i'm using it to god because it reminds me that i'm his bride it is a fearful thing for you to touch a man that god loves he will act as if he died for only him someone ready to pray tonight <laughs> I pray that what I've shared tonight will really enter you the cure for fear listen if you think a job can cast out fear you are joking if you think a business can cast out fear you are joking if you think supplements can cast out fear of death you are joking if you think a a nice suv can cast out the fear of death you are joking if you think money in the bank account can cast out fear you are joking we live in a world where fear looms around the horizon everything is programmed to make you afraid but you rest in the fact that god has not given me the spirit of fear so if fear tries to come you know that somebody is offering something you need to reject you don't just reject by saying i reject fear you reject it by reminding yourself hmm, i am strong in the lord and in the power of his might number two god loves me god loves me joshua selman god loves you when that revelation hits you hmm, then fear like darkness like smoke before the wind it just moves and it goes away i like you to open your mouth and begin to pray lord i'm tired of fear and what fear does lift your voice and pray halaborande salabrokatishia the fear of the future the fear of marriage the fear of children the fear of raising children the fear of paying bills the fear of succeeding in ministry are you praying Shh. 
I cause fear, I cause fear, I cause fear. Pray. He baranda salakaruda shede breast. Imbrakatu zelekataria natashikatas. Jepros kebarun shalabakariadas. I cause fear. God is faithful. God is faithful. God is faithful. Shelamanda rakato sabredi shalabat. Abalanda bragada sete kede balada balada balada. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Job chapter 3, verse 25 and 26. This is Job's testimony. Read with me, please. One to read. For the thing which I greatly feared is come upon me, and that which I was afraid of is come to me. Next verse. I was not in safety who told him hold on what was the testimony in Job chapter 1 Satan testified that have you not built a hedge of protection around him and Job said I was not in safety keep the scripture there please neither had I rest neither was I quiet meaning I was not peaceful King James makes it look like yet trouble came it's supposed to be that that's what brought the trouble God has protected you, yet you said you are not protected. God has preserved you, yet you said you are not preserved. God has told you, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. They are thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you an unexpected end. Yet you walk daily in fear. God has told you, have you not read that you will call and a nation will answer? It's not a parable what is a parable in the bible the bible will tell you it's a parable what is the fear for the lord knows how to deliver the righteous from trouble this is this is your bible when you carry this understanding from tonight my brothers and my sisters you know that you will never fail it's not just a jamboree pentecostal confession it's a settled reality i know this about god i know this about god what do you know about god that can protect and keep you in the days that come hallelujah your confidence please listen to me your confidence will have a lot to do with your courage your ability to conquer fear many of us here in ministry if you don't conquer fear you will never never be able to rise in ministry many of us here are trusting god for financial liftings if you put your eyes around the economy of nations they looked onto him and their faces were lightened. 
in your bible gentiles will come to my light they are kings to the brightness of my rising it says that my gates will be continually open day and night they will not be short that i will receive the forces of the gentiles when he said this i believed him i believed him i believe him i don't know what you don't believe about god but tonight you are going to call fear by its name and curse it by the god of heaven i reject fear lift your voice and pray the fear of death the fear of accident pray ladies will i get a man that will marry me will i get a woman that will marry me i cause fear will i have responsible children will i ever have a house of my own Shibaranda kasabra di shalabakus embra di zazia na katapras kede baladash hallelujah hallelujah matthew chapter 6 from verse 24 jesus was dealing with something we continue to ignore next verse therefore i say unto you take no thought the word there is don't fear don't worry it doesn't mean don't be responsible mm -mm. take no thought of your life worry what you shall eat nigerians listen what you shall drink nor yet for your body what you shall put on is not the life more than meat and the body more than raiment next verse the fowls of the air break a fundamental law because if you don't sow you should not reap but because god doesn't only love you he has come down to even love the birds he says they neither sow meaning they should not reap yet your heavenly father not their own your heavenly father extends the benevolence even to them are ye not much better than they next verse which of you by taking thought fear worry can add one cubit to his stature worry and fear does not do anything positive to you does it next verse please and why ye take thought for raiment consider the lilies of the field how they grow they toil not they violate the principle of diligence and productivity neither do they spin next verse and yet i say unto you my goodness that even solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these 30 wherefore if god so clothed the grass of the field this is a revelation of his love now which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven shall he not much more clothe you O ye of little faith next verse therefore take no thought and don't go to the extent of verbalizing your fear by saying what shall we eat what shall we drink or wherewithal shall we be clothed look at this verse for after these things do the gentiles run after for your heavenly father knows that ye have need of these things your heavenly father knows that if you stay in a rented apartment forever it will affect your christian life your heavenly father knows that if you do not smile and you are not in joy it will affect your christian life he knows he knows he knows he knows that if ministry does not work for you there will not be a platform you will be discouraged he knows there is no temptation the bible says 
but such as is common to man he says and with every temptation god will make a way of escape you are not the first to be challenged by poverty to be challenged by there will always be the jealousy of god will make him manipulate a way and come through for you are we together i like you to lift your voice and begin to speak everything you know god has said must happen to you and say lord i believe you i believe you the sorrow that comes with worry gentlemen pray stress and worry is destroying young people in our generation there are people who have lost sleep because of fear lost sleep because of worry it is the keeper of israel that does not sleep nor slumber so that i can rest great things have i spoken of you O zion great things great things he called me the head and not the tail i believe he called me above and not beneath i believe he called me the delight of nations Beulah and Hephzibah, I believe. With long life will I satisfy you and show you my salvation. I believe. I refuse to fear. I refuse to fear. I reject fear. I refuse to fear. The love of God shields me from fear. The power of God shields me from fear the mind of christ shields me from fear hallelujah hallelujah listen many people you know when you hear me talk like this many people are apostles because you are not looking for food to eat or this and that let me tell you this the bible says to be carnally minded is death is not will bring death is already death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace when you allow your mind to become carnal sensual that's the realm of satan how will it come how will i see the rain how will i see the cloud but he said you may not see rain ah. you may not see wind yet the valley shall be filled who told you water must come from above doesn't the earth have water too when it was time for noah's flood water came from the sky water came from under who told you gold is only found under the earth when a fish brought gold That means what is not supposed to make sense can bring you gold and bless you and change your life. This is the God we are talking about. I know him more. I know what he can do. I know what he can do. I know what he can do. You are going to hold someone's hand. We'll sing this song once and then we'll wrap up for tonight. Jesus, you love me too much. Oh. pastor alpha's wife or a jimmy's wife or any of our gentlemen here if you see the way for instance he decorates his wife and you are offended is she the right person to talk to you go to the husband the wife is just a wife so he says i will walk a walk in your days i want to do something that even if it were told you yourself you will not believe that there are times that a husband can buy a gift for a wife and say ah, is this not too much only where did you get the money say i've been saving this to prove something to you 
there are certain testimonies let me tell you that some of you are going to enter into that you will even be afraid of sharing because those who hear it will think you are lying it's true this is not motivation please listen to me i'm speaking to you by the spirit ah when a man's ways pleases the lord that he can make even his enemies look at this abimelech took the wife of abraham abraham lied and he took the wife and wanted to lie with the wife and god said if you do this abraham hold on he's touching me if you touch this man's wife listen there are men who receive answers even before they call the moment god is on a surveillance of their life he's jealous he will be distracted by the worship in heaven and come back again the love will not allow him leave you listen king nebuchadnezzar loved daniel so much that when they now put him in a position where he had to punish daniel he could not sleep in the night by the morning he went himself oh daniel are you still alive has your god been able to deliver you a king cannot sleep because someone is in trouble that means there is someone in this country and somewhere listen was it not because of god's love for esther and mordecai the king sat down and he could not sleep he was rolling from left to right and he got up he said bring me the chronicles out of all the people that did nice things when he came to mordecai he said this man what has been done who is in the chamber Haman came he said what should be done Hi this god bar my brothers and my sisters when you believe god and get fear out of your life you will stand in shock as you see god give you prepared blessings levels of liftings that god will bring you you will look left and right you will not know what you are doing there and say lord i shouldn't be here and he says i brought you there i brought you there i brought you there by my spirit I brought you there please I like you to lift your voice even if this is for the last time again destroy the spirit of fear and the bondage that it has put upon your life the bondage it has subjected you to I will prosper even in Nigeria I will prosper in the name of Jesus Christ everything that proceeds from me succeeds everything that proceeds from me succeeds no fear no fear i reject the bondage of fear i reject the bondage of fear my mind is free from fear my life is free from fear financial fear marital fear parenting fear career fear business fear ministry fear promotion fear advancement fear hallelujah hallelujah listen the next time fear comes to you don't just say i cast you suddenly remember you're a woman who is married whether you're a male or female everybody is a bride in the realm of the spirit remember who paid your dowry remember the price you talk about expensive dowry ask jesus ask the father 
your own dowry you bought cow and yam you didn't die for your wife something else died Jesus didn't say I would die for you he died for you and purchased you what can separate us the only thing that can separate you is so anything that can die for you too can sickness die for you can failure die for you you will never find me putting my hand on my chin by the window or by the bed breathing life no 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 why should i fear why should i fear why should i want why should i fear why should i fear why should i fear Why should I fear? Why should I fear? Why should I fear? Listen, I'd like you to square your shoulder and walk boldly through life. Boldly through life. Don't walk around like somebody who is at the mercy of situations and circumstances. If you don't have confidence in yourself, have confidence in your marriage. Hallelujah. It shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water, which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither whatsoever he doeth prospers father i declare in the name that is above all names that anyone here suffering under any kind of the manipulation of the spirit of fear be free right now in the name of jesus be free right now in the name of jesus whether it is fear because of the class of degree you finished with fear because of your tribe fear because of your past fear because of those you don't have that you think are support i curse that spirit from your life now i decree and i declare the bondage and the chain that has come upon your mind and your life as a result of fear let it be loose now from your life Adam where art thou I heard thy voice but I hid because I was naked fear right in the garden fear I had your voice to bless me but I hid because I thought you will destroy me I decree that the boldness that comes from knowing you are loved by the father may that boldness rest upon you now the revelation of the love of God that that must indoctrinate you into believing you cannot fail may that grace come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ and I declare unto you I don't care how many times you have failed by this revelation I empower you to excel may you become the desire of men may you become the desire of nations 
that every time men are looking for someone to bless may your face come in the name of Jesus Christ and I decree and declare that whatever the obstacle is that is making you fear is not enough to free you from the spirit of fear we also cause that barrier in the name of Jesus Christ say I refuse to fear say it I refuse to fear this is the message for tonight take it back home pray yes. we are going to round up but carry this mentality I will fear no evil no I will fear no evil reject it reject fear reject fear you know you are not good enough reject it I will fear no evil do you know you are in the valley of the shadow of death I will still fear no evil why for thou art with me dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaskade bashkana kata branda kate katos. Kate branda kata bakotos koto pray kate kate kata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline. 